embark upon the darkest voyage into the unknown in the history of mankind. for revenge pushed him to and beyond the limit where normal men would fall. To track down the maniac behind all this. drinks and smoke a joint bubbles? Yes. <laughs> drinks and smoke a joint bubbles? Yes. <laughs> What's poppin', boys? I'm back. So we're gonna play a different mod this time. Now, 
I know you're probably getting tired of new mods every streams, every stream, but hear me out on this one, okay? So, I was kind of getting tired of every time I play a mod having to completely relearn everything about it, about how to play, and especially since I'm playing so many different mods, the issue with that is that the first, like, multiple hours of the stream is just me learning the basics on how to play. You know what I mean? So, I decided to look for a mod that was more similar to the original game, but with enough enough changes to make it interesting. And I settled on uh, Mod Perfect, which was, uh, the final version was released in uh, 2019. So in this mod, all 722 cards are winnable. Not just obtainable, but winnable. Um, it looks like a lot of the drop lists are different, but very similar. Okay? So they're not... It, 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 at least from what I saw, right? From what I saw, they're not completely changed drop lists, but they are different. So, for example, one of the people I looked at was Pegasus. I wanted to know, you know, what does Pegasus drop? And from what I can tell, on SA POW and on BCD POW, Pegasus is completely the same. His his SA POW drops are the same. His BCD POW drops are exactly the same. The only change that I found on Pegasus was in his SA tech. Um, so, for example, Pegasus on SA tech now drops Horn of Light at a 50, Dragon Treasure at a 45 instead of the usual 32 or 36 in the original, Invigoration at a 50. He drops Regeki at a 35. And by the way, cards, uh, different uh, rarities of cards have different colors now as well. Um, let's see if there's anything else different. Megamorph is still there. Crush card was changed from a 2 to a 35. And yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else too interesting here as far as changes go, at least on Pegasus. But I think that's a good example of, of, of what this mod is, at least from what I can tell so far. I could, be, I could be horribly wrong, but at least from what I can tell, it looks like it's mostly the same, but with, with enough differences to keep things interesting. It, by the way, if you're gonna want, if you want to download this mod, you're gonna have to use exclamation point mod to download this, not exclamation point download. Uh, but yeah, so that's Pegasus's drop list. Um, I haven't really looked at that many other ones. Like, let's look at Rex's drop list. Yeah? Let's look at Rex. What does Rex drop? Let's see. Is it the same? Is it different? So let's see here. So his SA POW... So far looks the same. Did... Did Rex S.A. Pow? No, no, he never had the chance. Okay, so Rex S.A. Pow, right? I can already see something different in that you can win Ray's Body Heat on S.A. Pow. That's already different. You know what I mean? It's, and see, this is exactly the kind of mod I want to play. It's a mod where I still know the fusions, I still know the game in general, right? So because it's so similar to the original... 
I can I can I can still play the game at like kind of a high level because I'm you know a speedrunner of the game and I know the game very well. So I, since it's similar enough to the original, I can kind of play it at a high level right from the beginning. But there's enough changes to keep things really interesting. And that's that like raised body heat from Rex on SA Pow. That's cool. Okay, that might seem like a small thing to you guys, but that's actually really cool, especially for a hundo. Especially for a hundo, you can win Yoranzo on SA Pow Rex, three legged zombie on SA Pow Rex. That's cool. Now, what about BCD? Let's look at BCD. Um, so far looks the same. I wonder if you could still get Beast Fangs. Okay, so you could you can still get Beast Fangs here at a 19, which is exactly the same as original. Um. Okay, so Rex BCD is the same, from what I can tell. And then let's just, for shits and giggles, look at look at Rex SA Tech. Um, Beast Fangs, Mystical Moon. I actually don't even... I don't, I don't think I know Rex SA Tech drop list by heart in the normal game. Like, in original FM, I don't think I know this drop list by heart. Um, but I know some things about it, and this looks very similar to, to what it is. So that's cool. I'd say this is better than the original TBH, just cuts down the grinding so much. See, that, that's awesome to me. That sounds, like, good. That sounds fun. And see, I, I, I've had a lot of fun playing all these really weird mods with completely different cards and stupid wide JPEGs and, you know, Merrick doing some really horny shit, okay? But I wanted to play a mod today that, like I said, is just closer to the original. Something I can actually play, like play play, you know what I mean? Not something that I'm going to fumble around on Egypt 1 for three hours, not knowing what I'm doing until eventually I just cut the stream, right? I don't want to do that. I want to make real progress. I want to actually get something done in the stream. I want to actually use all of that skill and knowledge that took me eight years to build up from the original game while also learning something new. Which is what I think I can do with this mod. Now, since this is going to be a... And by the way, this is going to be a 100% run, right? I'm not just playing this mod just to beat the game. I'm playing it to 100% it. So, since we're 100%ing percenting it, I'm curious. What does Haishin 1, 1's drop list look like? Because if you guys recall, there's two people who, in a normal 100%, we spend the majority of the, f of the run farming. And that's Haishin 1 and Seto 3rd. So let's look at, let me look at their drop list. So let's look at Haishin 1. Let me see what, what we're looking at here. Okay, so already off the bat, you can win Summon Skull. All, and pug him. Okay, already off the bat. Haishin won SA Pow. You can win Summon Skull. That was not in the original game. You can win Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth, which was not in the original game. Jono 2 drops MBD in normal for bit of memories. Uh, you can win Black Skull, which was not in the original game. Those are three cards you couldn't win anywhere. You can win Zera the Mant, which you couldn't even win in the original game. Here's our OG boys. Labyrinth, Tank, Songa, Kazajin, Suijin, My Wife, the Curry Box, HPD, Launcher Spider, Kaiser Dragon, Aqua Dragon... That's all normal. Rogue guard. You can win Sin Engine. 
That's also new. Trihorn Dragon, that's also new. Cosmo Queen, that's new. Mask of Shine and Dark, that was pr uh, previously ritual only. Oh yeah, I never checked for the legs. Uh, well, if you win the legs, you don't win them on High Shin. It looks like the arms have been removed from High Shin as well. At least from SA Pow. Looks like you can win the right arm on BCD, but I haven't seen the legs yet. <clears throat> Is my bot not working or something? Oh, I guess my bot isn't working. Hang on. Yeah, you'll have to use Taya online. That's what I'm looking at. Yo, j -Vals with the $10 donation. hey -o. $10 donation. Thanks so much, j -Vals. God damn. Fuck it. We'll do it live. We'll do it live? Oh, hell yeah. Do what live? But yo, welcome. Thank you, j -Vals. I really appreciate it, my dude. That's awesome. Let's get that dono train going, boys. Come on. The last stream might have been a bit of a bust on that, but that's okay. Okay, so I kind of want to look at some specific cards now. So let me check where you win MBD from. Like, can I still get it from Meadow? Let me check. So, yeah, actually, you can still get MBD from Meadow Mage. The drop rate's actually slightly increased at a 21 instead of a 20. Um, it looks like everything else is exactly the same, except... Uh, yeah, actually, everything else looks right. So, normally, in the normal game, there are uh, six places that you can win Meteor B Dragon in the original game. And in this mod, there are also six places you can win MBD. They are the same six places. And the drop list, uh, the drop, the chances at every person is just about the same. Um, you can win it at Meadow Mage in the original game at a 20. In this mod, it's 21. Um, you can win it at an 8 against Jono second in the original game, and it's also an eight here. You can win it at a four in the original game against Haishin one and Haishin two. That's different in this mod. You can win it at a five against Haishin one and Haishin two. So they just added one to that as well. Uh, you can win it against Mountain Mage in... Oh, actually no, there's five places in the original game. There's six here. You can win it against Mountain Mage in the original at a 2. That's also here. But they also added one other place you can win MBD here. You can actually get it on SA Tech against a Tenza at a 1 out of 2048 chance. Amazing. Yeah, this will be 15. Now, let me check, for example, Blue Eyes. Where do you win Blue Eyes White Dragon? Is it just Seto 3rd? No, they changed it. Okay. So, in the original game... Um, in the original game, Seto 3rd was the only place you can get Blue Eyes. It was against um, Seto 3rd SA POW, and it was a 26 out of 2048 drop. Um, in this mod, you can also get it... At, you could get it at Seto 3rd at a 26, just like normal. But you can also win it at Seto 2, if you want to, SA POW, with the drop chance of a 2 on SA POW and a 1 on SA Tech. What about Megamorph? Megamorph drops at the usual place on Pegasus, and it has the same exact drop rate of a 64. So, in fact, Pegasus's A, uh, a Tech um, list got buffed 
got buffed hard, in fact. Because Pegasus is actually the first person that I looked at. And his A-Tech list got buffed hardcore. You ready for this? I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it real quick again. So, in, in normal Forbidden Memories, right? When you A-Tech Pegasus, you have a 32 chance to win Dragon Treasure. You have a 64 chance of winning Bright Castle. You have a 64 chance of winning Megamorph. You can win... Um, you can win Widespread Ruin at, I think, a 32 or 64, one or the other, and you can win Crush Card at a 2, right? So those are really the big five of Pegasus A-Teching in the normal game. In this, let me tell you all the big drops. Horn of Light now drops here against Pegasus A-Tech at a 50. Dragon Treasure has an increased drop rate from 32 all the way up to 45. Invigoration now drops against Pegasus ATEC at a 50. Okay? Regeki now drops against Pegasus ATEC at a 35. Wow. Um, Megamorph still drops against Pegasus at a 64. Crush card, instead of it dropping at a 2, it now drops at a 35. <whistles> Bright Castle still there at a 64, and Widespread is there at a 64. So yeah, <laughs> heavy buff, heavy, heavy, heavy buff to Pegasus A-Tacking. <laughs> Very extreme buff. So out of curiosity, where can you win Regeki in this mod? It seems like it's mostly the usual suspects. Except for Pegasus. Let me see... We, need, we may need to start racing this mod. I know, right? It seems really interesting so far. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I want to check. Oh, I so we checked... I checked Haishin. Haishin's drop list. Um, Haishin drops like Black Skull, Pugum, Zara the Mant, uh, like a Sininjin, like a ton of crazy shit. Um, I kind of want to see... Okay, yes, that's a good question, John. Can you get swords uh the answer is yes you can't because I, I i don't know where yet i'll look it up now but you can you can win every card in the game in this mod you can win all 722 so yes you can definitely get it somewhere let's see where swords of revealing light the strongest card in the game wow y you can win it against a lot of people so it's sa tech only but you can win it against haishin Atec at a 15, Kaiba Atec at a 15, Teyana second Atec at a 30, at a 30 boys, Ocean Mage Atec at a 25, Atenza Atec at a 10, Meadow Mage Atec at a 25, Seto 2 Atec at a 25, Haishin second Atec at a 30, Seto third Atec at a 45, and a Nightmare Atec at a 45. What about Magician of Black Chaos? Um, I'm guessing that drops somewhere too. Let me check. Magician of Black Chaos is now winnable. Uh, wow. That card is going to be really hard to get, actually. Um, it drops against Knight. Wait, Dual Master K drops it. Now that's interesting. Dual Master K drops Magician of Black Chaos on SA Pow at a 2. And Nightmare S.A. Pow also drops it at a 3. Also, one other thing I noticed. You can actually purchase Magician of Black Chaos for 10,000 Star Chips. Now, 10,000 Star Chips is a lot, but that's not the most unreasonable thing I've ever heard. Let me check Blue Eyes Ultimate. So Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. 
You can win it against Seto 3rd SA Pow at a 2, Seto 3rd SA Tech at a 1, and Nightmare SA Pow at a 2. And that's it. You could purchase it for 50,000 uh, Star Trips. Christ Almighty. This mod is exciting me so far. Also, by the way, we haven't. I've been streaming for 20 minutes, and we already almost have double the viewership I had last night playing the League of Legends mod. So, uh, good. Does Duel Master K have? I, I'm guessing yes. Dabbing. I'm gonna guess that Duel Master K is just like normal Duel Master K in the original game, and he plays your own deck against you. I'm pretty sure cards like that work the same, Johnny, yeah. Yo, l let's get into it. I I, I mean, we, we just spent the last 10 minutes looking at drop list. Fuck it. Let's get into it. Let's actually play it. This seems really interesting. Let's go. Yeah, if you add on, um, like, a 15x chip modifier on this, then yeah. Yeah, the drop, the, the, the star chip costs are actually, like, completely reasonable at that point. Good morning, living room. Yeah, I mean, I guess farming Duel Master K in the beginning wouldn't be the worst idea. You do have a chance to win Magician of Black fucking Chaos, but... Remember, it drops at a 2, which is ridiculously low of a drop rate. Like, the odds of you ever winning it- Oh my god! The starting deck generation is different. You start with an invisible wire? I have a crush card here. Two equips? Wow. So yeah, as you can see, these are all normal FM cards. It has all the normal FM cards. It has all the normal FM fusions. I think it might have added a few, but for the most part, it should be the same. But starter deck generation is definitely different. I would, I mean, I, I would prefer to start with Regeki instead of Crush Card, because you guys have to remember that Crush Card is only 1500 plus attack that it destroys. So, I'm not really going to be able to use this until, like, m m my Keith, you know, like, midpoint of World Tournament. Let me see if I can find a better deck, because this has no dragons and two thunders, which isn't bad. But let me see if I can find a better deck. Because, cause we, we, I mean, we, we still don't know how this mod generates the deck. For all we know, that could have been a horrible starting deck, and we're about to get a good one. So l let's try a couple attempts here. And see. Might have to boot up this mod yourself. It looks fun, doesn't it? Doesn't this look, like, really fun? Am I the only one who thinks that this looks really fucking fun? Like, it looks like the original game with a bunch of changes made to make it even more fun than the original game. So I can I can still use all of the, all of the knowledge that I have gained from playing original Forbidden Memories for the past 8 years. I can use all of that knowledge while I'm playing this and still get to experience new stuff. That sounds awesome to me. <laughs> Obama dollar sign for luck. Yeah, Obama dollar sign. All right, let's see. Dark hole dragon treasure, Blech. goblin fan. Oh god, no! Get this, get this deck far away from me. Yeah, we're gonna need to do Obama dollar sign for luck. I think that's a very good point. Lowercase Obama dollar sign. Don't forget.
Very interesting. No exclamation point this time. We're going dollar sign, okay? If dollar sign doesn't work, we'll think about exclamation point. I wonder if you can start with Regeki. Let me check. Let me see if you actually can start with Regeki. It might just be Crush Card Dark Hole. I don't know why they would change that. You probably can. But to... I, I mean, I guess to be fair, it is kind of easy to win Regeki in this mod. At least, I mean, you win it from Peggy Atek. Like, that alone should tell you it's not going to be that hard for me to get uh, some Regeki later on. I mean, I, I would kind of prefer... Uh, let me check initial deck. Consult. Okay, yeah, you can. So, in in set four, so typically, in normal Forbidden Memories, the way that it works is you can either start with Regeki or Dark Hole. You have a 50-50. In this mod, there's actually four different cards that can show up right here. You have your Regeki and your Dark Hole, but you also have Crush Card and Harpy's Feather Duster. Could you actually imagine starting the run? <laughs> Can you imagine being like, Regeki, Crush Card, Dark Hole? Pfft, fuck that, I wanna start with Harpy's Feather Duster. <laughs> Could you actually imagine? <laughs> Ooh, mommy. Okay, so you can. So, yeah, we're obviously going to reset until we have Regeki. Um, let's do Obama, but with a capital B, everything else, lowercase dollar sign. There we go. I think this is it. Yeah, Obamacare, let's go. Starting with swords. You can win swords from Teyana too in this mod. Say no more, fam. <laughs> no, get it away. Get it away. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wonder how, uh, what traps are possible. Let me check that while I'm here, actually. Because that I'm kind of curious about. So the best trap that you can start with is mm, debatable. It's it's between it's either in, you can start with invisible wire and fake trap. Those are the two best. It's debatable which one is better. I would say fake trap. Um, but yeah, so you can start with house of adhesive tape, ikaboon, bear trap, invisible wire, goblin fan, bad reaction, and fake trap. I think. The hypothetical best starting deck here would be Regeki, Fake Trap, Fake Trap, Umi, and then, like, Beast Fangs, Dark Energy. <laughs> or Double Beast Fangs if you could start with two of the same, which I'm pretty sure you can. This mod seems so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> this mod is, like, winning my heart already, and we haven't even really started playing it. <laughs> this is awesome. This is exactly what I needed, dude. This is exactly what I needed to play, is a mod like this. Thank god, dude. Thank god. Hang on, I need to plug in my vape. The old girl's running low on power juice. Power juice.
That's actually a really good uh, point. I saw somebody just making chat. What was that? Who said that? Taylor Brody, good point. I wonder if they changed how uh, certain equips work. Like, for example, does Beast Fangs work on MBD now? Have they changed, uh, like, what equips work on what cards? Very good uh, point. Let's, let's see. Let's see. No. They, I mean, they, they might have changed, like, some, some equip things, but they didn't change that. It's still only Dragon Treasure, Salamandra, Megamorph, and Bright Castle, just like in the normal game, so that's not changed. Um, maybe, I mean, what about something like Blue Eyes, White Dragon? That Blue Eyes, I believe, is normally just Dragon Treasure, Bright Castle, Megamorph. Is that like that here? Yes, it is. That's unfortunate. It seems like they've changed everybody's drop list. I think I, I'm pretty sure every single drop list has been altered. But none of them have been altered massively, if that makes sense. Like, when I looked at Pegasus and I looked at Haishin and people like that, right? I would say like 90% of their drop list is all the same, but they changed like 10% of it. But trust me, changing 10% of a drop list is a big change, right? That is a big change. So a lot of the, a lot of the meat of the run, I think, is going to be close to the same, but there's going to be vast differences that push us far off course of what where we would normally be in a normal run. No. I really do want to start with Regeki if I could. I mean, Simon confused in the original game if you if you let him. But as long as you keep the AI's field clear, they they cannot fuse. And this is true for anybody in the entire original game. Um, the only way that changes is if um, if you're playing the hard mode mod, which I don't think this is. I don't think this has the hard mode mod on. If this mod had the hard mode on it, it would be uh, completely ruined, in my opinion. But I'm 99% sure it does not. There it is, Regeki. Oh my god, look at this! Regeki, Umi, Fake Trap, Invigoration! Let's go! Let's go! What a good deck! Three usable beasts, a Mavilus. Let's go, dude. That is a big boy deck right there. That is a big boy deck. That's perfect. Almost. This is the only part that's not perfect, but everything else is perfect. I mean, there's no dragons and thunders, which does kind of suck, but we can get that really quickly, so it's not a big deal. Oh god, yeah, we're starting the run with that. Are you out of your mind? Hell yeah. All right, so since this is a 100% run, we need to unlock everybody. Um, now, here is one thing I'm not sure of. I don't know if the AI's decks are different. I know that the drop lists are different. The cards you win are different. I do not know if the cards played against you are different. Oh, they have the FM2 field. Interesting. But all of the fusions should be exactly the same. They should make Garvis. Yeah, all the fusions should be exactly the same. 
It looks like they're still using the censored North American uh, card art. Would have been cool if they used the Japanese card art, the uncensored card art. If, if it was uncensored card art, Garvis would be totally naked there. Sad. <laughs> Just when I was looking forward to naked Garvis. I have a feeling that I'm going to be playing this mod a lot in the coming weeks. Like, I have a large feeling about that. Firm reminder that Invigoration does not work on Takahi. Oh, the text is different too. This is awesome. This is amazing. How the fuck have I not heard about this mod before? Like, I, that's not true. Like, I've heard the name, like, like Mod Perfect before, but I never knew what the changes were. Like, that these were the changes. Like, this is amazing. The AI, AI decks are the same? Okay, that's good. That's a good thing. Because it means that I can use everything that I've learned over the past eight years while playing the game. That's good. We got right leg. Cool. <laughs> all right. We already won our first unobtainable card. Right leg of the forbidden one. Let's go. Our first unobtainable. That we got two of them. And we got three of them. Did I just win the same five cards over and over? I did. This is five card draw. This is not 15 card. This is five card. Interesting. That's weird. Give me a second. I'm going to change it to 15. Let me just save. Pause my timer. Exit out of this. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna um change it to fifteen really quick. Just give me a second. Zibbity boop bop boo. I'm just gonna mod it myself, honestly. Yo, Raheel, thank you for the 449. I really appreciate it, dude. It helps a lot, trust me. I am extremely anxious that we're not gonna hit halfway point today. Thank you. Glad to see you can finally afford a new shirt. Thanks. Thanks to Big Coffee, the official sponsor of Anti-Vaxxers Anywhere. <laughs> yeah, thanks to Big Coffee for helping me afford a new shirt. No, but really, thank you, Raheel. It does, it does mean a lot, like a lot, a lot. Thank you. Okay, so let me just really quick... I I'm just going to mod it myself, honestly. All right, let me grab the slus. Let me grab the MRG. Open up the thing. File slus. File MRG. Yeah, it says five. That's my fault. I, I must have accidentally changed uh deleted the one all right 15 oh shit wait first we have to hit insert programmation then we change it to 15 save 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 exit open the program again load the slus just to make sure it actually went through load the mrg it says 15 okay so, replace the MRG. Replace the SLUS. Save the ISO. Close the ISO. All right. 
All done. All right, let me crack uh, the emulator back up again, and then we're good to go. I I I, I accidentally made it myself, Ed. That that's how I got five card. <laughs> I I accidentally made it myself. So a lot of the mods that I've been downloading lately, Ed. Um, whenever I download the fifteen card mod version of a lot of the mods I've played lately, it's broken and it's only one card drop. So what I've been doing is every time I play a new mod, I've been opening the mod up in a tool to change how many cards you win, and I've been manually modding it to 15 card mod myself. That way I know it's always going to work for the stream. However, when I opened up this one, I must have accidentally deleted the one in 15 and saved it, which brought it down to five. So what I just did now is I literally opened the program, loaded the ISO, changed it back to 15, and now it should be 15 again. Yeah, the, 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 the Mediafire link will be 15 card mod because you guys, uh, I, I did not include the download link to the version that I'm making. They should be the, the, the exact same, um, but I, I again, a lot of the mods that I've downloaded recently have broken 15 card mods, which is why I, I've been making my own 15 card mods for all of these mods. Uh, but in this case, I just accidentally deleted the one in 15. But the link is uh, should be the 15 card mod that I found online. Whether or not that actually works, I don't know. Feel free to let me know. But yeah. No, Chris. The the mod the tool that I'm talking about is literally just a tool to change how many cards you win per duel. Maximum being 15. Um, there are tools that allow you to make your own mods, but I wouldn't be the one to ask because I have not really done that. Okay. All right, there should be 15 card mod now. Who did I fight? Was it just Simon so far? Yeah, just Simon. Okay. All right. Then, uh, yeah, let's move on then. Guess GFC have to fix it. Uh, I shouldn't have to. It should work for you guys. All right, so I'll just have to accept that I only got five cards on that duel in particular. Um, okay. All right, let's move on. Tail one. It's so weird seeing right leg in my hand. You know what I mean? Exodia strats. I'm gonna go with no on that one. A test run on Duel Master K. Um, after I'm done with Seto One, but before I do Haishin, I'll do a duel against uh, DMK. Yeah, that's true. It was only five card drop, but we did get uh, right leg, so. Oh, 3D duels work on this version? That makes sense. Since, it, I, I mean, it is all of, it is all the original cards, so I guess it makes sense that, um, that 3D duels would work. No, Taylor. 
so for Exodia pieces, you can only have one of each in your deck, which is exactly why Exodia strats are so bad. The reason Exodia strats suck is because you can only have one of each in your deck. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's different. It works. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we got 15 cards this time. Cool. Yeah, 15, yeah, yeah, yeah. How many rocks do I have in this deck? Oh, already enough. I should probably not waste my time with more. Yeah, Dryad counts as a female, I believe. Okay, that's good for now. Uh, ultimate is dropped at Seto 3rd at a 2, Seto 3rd SA Pow at a 2, Seto 3rd SA Tech at a 1, and Nightmare SA Pow on a 2, I think, something like that. It's something similar to that. Doesn't winning 15 cards make the game way too easy? None doesn't make the game any easier, just makes the game faster. Just means less farming. But the game is the exact same difficulty, just takes less time. I mean, doing the same duel, you know, a hundred times over versus... Well, do, doing the same duel 60 times over versus doing the same duel four times over, I wouldn't say either one of those is easier. I would just say one of those is significantly faster. I wouldn't say it's easier, though. The same level of knowledge is still required in order to play at least at a higher level, but it's just faster. And it's especially good for runs like this where you want to get all 722 cards because it makes the it makes the journey of doing that actually enjoyable instead of it taking, you know, 150 fucking hours. So, yeah. That's my opinion though. Anyone is, is allowed to have their own opinion on that, but... Uh, the info command is not talking about this stream, by the way. I'm not sure what the card colors indicate yet. I'm guessing rarity, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I agree, Ed. In, in my opinion, just because something takes longer to do doesn't mean it's it's increased difficulty, in my opinion, right? If, a ta if you have the option for a task to take one hour versus ten minutes, I don't think the task that takes ten minutes is necessarily easier, or the task that takes one hour is necessarily harder. I just think one is faster than the other, one takes longer than the other. Assuming it's pretty much the same thing you have to do between the two, which it is, right? Like, for example, if I had to sit here and just hold this Coke can for 30 minutes versus sitting here and holding this Coke can for five minutes, is it harder for me to sit here and hold it for 30 minutes? Not really, no. It just takes longer. It's more tedious, you know what I mean? I mean, you could say, oh, well, the muscle strain after 30 minutes. <laughs> you, you know what I mean. <laughs> Hain, Hain, whoa. Is that a Hain, Hain I saw? Oh, baby, there's a Hain, Hain. There's a Hain, Hain, boys. Oh boy, I love this mod already. And a fake trap. And a mega thunderball, by the way. 
Very interesting. All right, my boy, Villy 2. I don't know what your drops are like, but I'm gonna BCD you. Get this shit out of my deck, actually. Oh, I love you, baby. I love you. I don't know what green is. Actually, I think cards that are green. Cards that are green are cards that did not use to drop against that particular duelist, I think. Because every other card that I won, you can normally win against Villager 1 SA Pow. Except for Rock Ogre Grotto, Mega Thunderball, Hain Hain, and Fake Trap. These are the only four cards that you normally cannot win against Villager 1 A Pow. And all four of them are green. So, coincidence? I don't know. Yeah, and farming is still a big part of FM with 15 uh, card mod. It's just not as big of a part. It's still a huge part of the run, but instead of it being, you know, if you want to do a 100% run, instead of it taking 100 hours, now it only takes like 20 hours, you know? It's just more fun for a lot of people anyway. For a very, very large majority of people, it is much more fun to play the game with 15 drops than it is to play the game with one drop. I mean, the, for something like this, I, I feel like the proof is in the pudding, you know what I mean? Like, 15 card mod was released like three years ago, and in that time, it became by far the most popular speedrun and the most popular way to casually play the game in just a few short years. So clearly people think that it's more fun to play this way, at least in general, right? And there's a reason for that. So, I mean, at the end of the day, if it's more fun, then do it. If it's not more fun, then don't do it. Um, I don't think it would be better, chicken. I think it would be a lot easier, but not necessarily better. Forbidden Memories would be significantly easier if the AI could only use the cards that are actually in their hand, the game would be significantly easier. Oh yeah, that's right, I want to get a bad rank here. My day's going, uh, I guess, all right, Paris. I'm really excited about this mod and to play it more. Just playing the Umi in order to uh, finish the duel. Or not finish the duel, but um, get a bad rank on purpose. Villager 2, at least in the original game, has a much better chance to drop Thunders um, on the BCD rank. Now, I don't know what his altered drop list is like, but, uh, you know, Vanilla Drop Basil Hero number 2 tells me that I, I, I'm I probably still correct. <laughs> this is not a new mod, and it's also not mod 15. It's mod perfect with 15 card mod. Uh, applied on top of it. Nice. Alright, we got two thunders there. That's good. We still don't have any dragons. Hopefully we can pick up one here. Against, um, Villy 3. That's the hope. Hopefully we can pick up a thunder re or a dragon- a dragon areno against Villy, Villy 3. Uh, let's get rid of the bad beasts. 
No, I only have one. That's good. I feel like I have way too many spellcasters. I don't really have that many, actually. Probably Yurabi would be next, and then Disc Magician, and then Takahi. Actually, yeah, and then Takahi. And then I'll get rid of some zomb- oh, and then I'll get rid of the warriors, except for Kagemusha. Thin out the zombies. And maybe, th maybe thin out some of the rocks, depending on what, what our deck is looking like at that point. And then I think we'll be good. Remember, boys, if y'all are enjoying this, feel free to send a, a tip or donation my way. It helps keep the stream running smoothly, just like that right leg, nice and smooth. There's the link. Make sure you use the link that is in chat or at the top of the description. Try your best to not do a YouTube super chat because YouTube likes to take like 30 plus percent of every super chat you send. But by using that link, I get all of the money. So yeah, I'd highly recommend if you do decide to do that, to do it that way. Thank you. I always thought three-legged zombie was a cool card. I also kind of like the different font that they use for the card names uh, here. It's interesting. And, the, and the, the different field is from FM2. The main fusions in my deck. Um, right now, I don't really have any main fusions because I just started the run. So right now, I'm kind of just taking what I could get. Um, our deck has a lot of Mystical Sand, a lot of... Um, like Neko Gal stuff with Beast, uh, Flame Cerberus, a lot of early game fusions like that. We're gonna slowly meld it into a twin headed deck though. Uh, we have a bunch of thunders right now. All we need is some dragons and then we can start uh, flipping it over to that. Hopefully we can win a dragon or two here. That's not a dragon. That is. Tau the Chanter drops here. That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. That's honestly so cool. Tau the Chanter was a previously um, unobtainable card. That's really cool. Kaminari Kosu as well. Thunder, nice. Chop Change Mirror. Bolt Penguin as well. Wow, we got... Two thunders, one dragon. Not bad at all. All right, yeah, that's uh, that's everybody. I really should not have to save before set of one here. I really shouldn't have any trouble at all. Like, even if he plays Gaia, I should be fine. Tau the Chanter. I wonder if Tau the Chanter is a dark spellcaster or not. If he counts as a dark spellcaster. Kind of curious. Not sure. Let me check. Because normally, uh, Tao the Chanter is unobtainable. So normally, I don't know. I like like that's not information that I've ever had to know. So let me check. Uh, 
Um, I guess I could check it with Ushioni. Um, So let's see if Tal the Chanter is here. No, Tal the Chanter is not a dark spellcaster. Which means you cannot use Tal the Chanter to make Ushioni and things like that. Oopsies. I'm knocking shit over. I'm going nutty here. Alright, um... Just three, right? Three now. I have no idea why they made Ritual summoning so honestly bad. <laughs> I have no idea. It, it seems like... I don't know, like, I want to call it a massive oversight that they made rituals, like, so stupid. But at the same time, it's like they must have spent so long developing rituals. How could they not know that they would be useless? Like, they must have known, right? Like, they must have tested it extensively so that they would know how useless rituals would be in a normal playthrough. So yeah, I have no idea. Or not even just a normal playthrough, but like literally any playthrough. No, this mod does not have new cards. But it does have access to all 722 cards. But it's not, like, like there are, there are other mods where you can get all 722 cards. But, like, 99% of the game is exactly the same. Except they'll, you know, they'll add Blue Eyes Ultimate to the Seto 3rd drop list at a 1. They'll add Pugum at like to the um to the high forced mage drop list at a one like they'll just add stuff like tiny stuff at a one like that right this mod is better in my opinion than those because it actually changes all of the drop lists to make to not only incorporate the unobtainable cards but also to just change the game in general you know Nice. That's exactly why I wanted the SA POW for the slightly higher chance of Time Wizard. Kunai's good. Uh, Kunai's good for Hondo. Two Time Wizards. Good. Does it add new fusions? I don't know if this mod adds new fusions. I'm not 100% sure. I think.
Can you guys hear me now? Hello, 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 hello. Is the stream still working? Are we here? Hello, hello, hello. Let me know in chat if you can hear me. Yes, you can hear me? Okay, then I guess it's fixed. Hello? Sorry about that. I don't know who called me. So you guys can hear me. We're all good again? Okay. I don't I don't know why my my entire computer just kinda Shit out, shit out on me for a second there. Okay, sorry about that. We're good. But yeah, no, I, I, I don't know if this if this mod has any new fusions. I can say that all of the fusions that I already know about, they all work like normally. Um, they might have added a couple fusions, but if they did, I don't know what they are. So fucked. <laughs> oh, what did he play? Oh, okay. Legend. Makes sense. Okay, that should be a B rank. So we should have a chance for Beast Fangs here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen. Of course, I win Ikaboon and Goblin Fan, but not Beast Fangs. Amazing.
So how we doing on this wonderful morning chat? <laughs> Is anybody looking to purchase a mid-grade computer? I have a computer that I, I built out of, um, out of, like, spare parts. It's like a GTX 980, 980. um, I'll have to see what the exact model of the process, of the CPU is, but it's an i5, four cores. I don't, I don't know the exact model, it's the last generation. Um, 240 gigabyte SSD. I am looking to sell it to somebody because I severely need money right now. <laughs> like severely. So if anyone is interested in purchasing it, hit me up. In Germany, it's 5 p.m. Damn. 4 p.m. here, bro. <laughs> it's morning for me, okay? It's, it's 11 a.m. for me. p.m. where you're at? Damn. It's like an eight-hour difference there. Let's keep it going, boys. I am, I, I feel like I'm drawing left leg very often. <laughs> So we definitely want to get a BCD here for the chance of Beast Fangs. Just play Umi just to confirm the BCD rank. Damn, 
didn't get anything there. No Dragano, no Thunderano, no Beast Fango. Do you guys think I should do a couple Duel Master K duels to see if I can win Magician of Black Chaos somehow? Because apparently, apparently Duel Master K drops Magician of Black Chaos. The drop rate is really low. It's only a two. But it it's apparently here. Let me see what else he drops. I'm kind of curious. Duel Master K. Let's see what he drops. So let's see. Duel Master K. Looks like he has his usual dragons. Oh, he drops Dark Magician as well. He drops Dark Magician at a two. Cocoon of Evolution at a three. That's weird. Um, what else? He has a huge drop list. He drops like every field card. Forest, Wasteland, Mountain, Sogan, Umi. He drops Yamadron at a four. That's interesting. And then he drops Dark Magic Ritual at a 5, and Magician of Black Chaos at a 2. So, yeah. Let's, let, okay, let, we'll, we'll see. Let's do a couple duels, and let's just see if we manage to win it. Because that would be the most amazing thing ever. Now, keep in mind, the odds of me winning Magician of Black Chaos is very low, right? Because the drop rate is a 2. However... The chance of me winning either Dark Magician or Magician of Black Chaos combined is a four. Okay, so much more possible. For the one or the other. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. I'm just gonna kill myself. Th this is like the worst possible two draws I could have gotten. Now let me look at his BCD drops. I'm kind of curious. How his BCD looks. Does he drop anything interesting here? Um, no, not really. Nothing, nothing that interesting on BCD. And let me look at his SA Tech. Drops left arm at a four. He drops, like, a shit ton of random equips. Axe of Despair, Insect Armor, Steel Shell, Cyber Shield, Mystical Moon, Malevolent Nuzzler, Book of Secret Arts, Raised Body Heat, Power of Kaishin, Wasteland, Umi, Yami, Dark Hole, Moving Curry, Red Medicine, Goblin Seeker Remedy, Final Flame, Dark Piercing Light, um, what else? Magical Labyrinth, Curse Breaker, Wing Trumpeter. Yamadron Ritual, Bear Trap, Invisible Wire, Goblin Fan, Bad Reaction, Fake Trap, Constructive Mask, and Dark Magic Ritual at 40. Yeah, it's super rare to win the, uh, uh, Magician of Black Chaos here. But it is possible, and wouldn't it be- would it, wouldn't it be fucking amazing to win it, like, super early? Like, come on, that would be amazing. Oh my god, it's taking so long to lose. Um, no. Duel Master K does not have a ritual that exclude that is exclusive to him on SA Tech. Unless it's Dark Magic Ritual, but he also drops that on SA Pow. It's not just SA Tech, but I, I I don't I don't know if anybody else drops that. They very well might. All right, much better duel here. <laughs> 
Let me see if anybody else drops Dark Magic Ritual. Uh, yeah, Nightmare also drops it on Atex, so no. He does not have anything that's just him. Could you guys actually imagine if I won a Magician of Black Chaos? Like, that would be the most amazing thing ever. Yeah, other people drop Dark Magic. Well, by other people, I mean Nightmare. God, could you actually imagine being at like the beginning of a run, like 10 minutes in, and you fight Duel Master K and you win Magician of Black Chaos? That would be so amazing. Or even Dark Magician would be would be great. And look at that, we got both penguins, so that's good. Three, four, five, six, seven, another bolt penguin, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Damn. We got little deed, boys. Dang. I have a lot of thunders right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 thunders, and I only have one dragon, and it's dragon statue. I really need to win some dragons. Like, if, if I can win a couple dragons, my deck is going to be so good. If I could just get a couple dragons. Let me do some SA Pals on Rex really quick. Because if I could pick up a couple dragons, this deck is going to go from 0 to 100 real fucking quick. Like, dummy quick, boys. Um, a teching was discovered from the Japanese Forbidden Memories guide. There's an official guide in Japanese that explains how rank works. Like it, ex like the official Japanese guide for Forbidden Memories has a chart that explains exactly how rank works and how to calculate what rank you're gonna get um, before the duel even ends. And it was using that chart that we were able to figure out how to get Atex um, easily and quickly. Imagine winning three Magician of Black Ass. That would be amazing. Yo, Luke with the $10 donation. Thank God, dude. Thank you so much, Luke. Oh, boy. That's helpful. Thank you. Donation received from Luke. Anything helps so much donation right now. To the RNG gods for some dragons. Yes, we need some dragons. Thank you. Hopefully the pay to win will, will let me win a couple dragons because we really need some dragons here. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Like, honest to God, Luke, you have no idea how much that helps right now. <laughs> like, that is a massive help. Thank you so much, Luke. You absolute fucking mad lad. Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully that is the start of the dono train because goddamn do I really need it today. <laughs> like horribly badly. I can win this turn, so let's just do this. Thanks again, Luke. Fucking legend. Pay to win, boys! The pay to win is alive and well! Crawling Dragon number two. Let's go, boys! That's what we need. Good. 
That's what we need. We need more of that. More of that, boys. Pay to win always works. Always works. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Two in a row! Dude, the pay to win! Two crawling dragon number twos in a row! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Two in a row! Two in a row! <laughs> yeah! That's what I want to see. And a wicked dragon! On drop 14. What? You can win sword arm. What? What? I won another dragon that I didn't even know you could win. <laughs> I didn't even know you could win that here. Oh my god. Dude, the pay to win. Holy shit. Two crawling dragon number twos, a wicked dragon, and a sword arm of dragon that I didn't even know you could win. Holy shit, what is the drop rate? I didn't even know. SA Pow, sword arm of dragon, let me check. I didn't even know that you could win that here. I looked at his drop list, I don't know how I missed that. Wait, what? Oh, you can win Skelagon too. Skelagon is a, is a seven here as well. But I feel like I didn't see Sword Arm. Maybe I just missed it. Again, let me look through it again. Apparently I missed it. Somehow I've looked at his drop list three times and missed it all three. Wait. It's not on his drop list. What? Wait, what? I just... I just looked at his drop... Uh, what? How is Sword Arm of Dragon not on the drop list? I definitely got it. <sighs> what? How am I missing this? Yeah, I'm looking at I'm looking at Mod Perfecto. Unless that's the wrong mod, and I've been looking at the wrong one this whole time. That's, that's the only mod with the word perfect in it at all, so it has to be this one. Hang on, maybe I just somehow missed it, like, three times. Wait, this is the 2016 version and not the 2019 version? So wait, this drop list isn't correct then? So I don't have a drop list that's accurate? Uh-oh, that's not good. If I don't have an accurate drop list, that's not a good thing. No, it's not here. No, I can confirm that Sword Arm of Dragon is not on the Rex drop list. At least not on the drop list that I'm looking at, which means this drop list isn't correct. This drop list is wrong. 
it must be it must be a drop list for an earlier version well that's unfortunate where could I find a drop list for for this mod then Yeah, I'm gonna kind of I'm, I'm kind of gonna need The drop list though Perfect drop list. No, this isn't. Yeah, no, this is for the 2016 version. Is there no drop list for the 2019 version? That's actually pretty bad if there's no drop list for this. Like it doesn't it doesn't look like there's any drop list anywhere for this mod. For not for the updated version anyway. So here's the thing. It looks like most of the like most of the drop lists are correct, but there are obviously changes. As you can see, I won a card that's not on the drop list, so there are differences. It seems like most of it is correct, but there have been some changes. But that's really bad, because I need a drop list that's accurate. I'm just kind of surprised that there's no drop list. Wait, am I dropping frames? Oh no. Hello, can you guys hear me to hear me again? Can you guys hear me again? I don't know why, but my internet just like died for a second there. If you can hear me, let me know in chat. I have no idea why that happened. I hope it doesn't happen again. Okay, so my internet's working again, it seems. That's good. But what am I going to do about the drop list? I don't have a drop list for this mod. I guess we're just going to have to play without a drop list. But you see, the issue with that is how am I going to know who drops the super rare cards, you know? Like, I, I hope that the drop list for the 2016 version is mostly correct because if it is mostly correct then surely a lot of the super rare cards are probably the same between the two but wouldn't it suck if I was farming somebody for hours trying to win a super rare card that shows up on the drop list for the 2016 version but it, it's not even possible for me to win it in the 2019 version and I end up farming somebody for hours for no reason, you know what I mean? I'm a little bit worried about this. 
I mean, I'm a little, I like, I, I'm a little bit worried because I've already won a card that wasn't on the drop list, which already scares me a bit. Um, but I guess we'll see what happens, right? All right, let's just keep playing. Fuck it. As you guys can see, pay to win is working, boys. Okay, we got a ten dollar donation to win dragons. And we won four dragons, one of which I didn't even know you could win. <laughs> That's how good the pay to win is. The pay to win is so good that it gives me drops that shouldn't even be possible. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so let me just toss all this shit in. We got four dragons in one duel. And three of them are big dragons, by the way. That's true. I mean, that means that there's there's definitely a chance I could win, like, unexpected cards at any moment. You never know. Yeah, like, at this point, we will never know when we're about to win some crazy good drops, so... I'd say our deck is probably good to move on now, so let's move on. I mean, I, yeah, I could switch, I, I could switch to playing the 2016 version, which the 2016 version will probably be mostly the same as this, except the drop list will be correct. But at the same time, I don't really want to change because I, I mean, I, I don't know how different it will be. But I really like what I'm playing now, you know what I mean? I really like this. And I'm- but like, I'm sure the 2016 version is very similar, but it's probably not the same, you know? Exactly the same. I don't know. I don't know, boys. The cards have a probability of dropping based on their attack and defense. Well, that's clearly not correct. Because then why the fuck would Sword Arm of Dragon be a common drop on Rex? <laughs> so there's no way that's right. I mean, that's, that's kind of what I'm hoping, is that all of the super rare cards are the same, like, drop in the same spots. Because, like, for common cards, it's not that big of a deal if there's slight differences. But for really rare cards, it's a very big deal if there's differences. Because it means that I could potentially farm somebody for hours trying to win a card that has a really low drop rate, but it's actually not winnable at all, right? Like when when a card has when when a card has like a two drop rate, I'm gonna be farming for it for hours, and I'm not gonna know. Am I? Is it just really hard for me to win this card? Am I just getting unlucky, or does it not drop here at all? You know what I mean? I won't know. Deliberately not included. That's dumb, man. It should be. That's so stupid. That's the fun of it. I like it how it's like, oh yeah, I didn't do the extra work to, to give you guys this. That's the fun of it. I'm, I didn't do all that extra work so that you guys could have more fun. Uh-huh. I'm sure. I'm sure. That's like, 
That's like if you didn't do your homework and you went up to your teacher and you're like, hey, teacher, I didn't do my homework because, you know, I just want to make your life easier. You know, it's one less homework assignment to grade, right? It's less time that you have to spend grading. That's why I didn't do my homework. I did it as a favor to you so that you don't have to spend extra time grading. You know, it's my gift to you trying to sell your, your laziness as a, as a good thing. <laughs> well, now I feel like we could win any card anywhere at any time. So who knows what we're going to win at this point. I, f I feel like it's a good thing if you just want to um, play the game casually, right? Like if you just want to beat the game... Not knowing the drop list is actually probably pretty good. But if you want 100% it, it's a very different story. It's very bad to not know. Come on, Toto. Very good, Two-Face. Two-Face. What's up, Two-Face? Family guy funny. 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 I've been here since the start of the last stream. I've just been asleep for all of it. Not bad. Apparently machines get powered up on Wasteland and Spellcaster loses out on Sogan. Now that's weird. But interesting, but weird, but interesting, but weird. I'm gonna try to get a good rank more often for the simple fact that I'm very curious about, about the drops now. Remember, if you guys are enjoying the stream, exclamation point, donate. If we hit half the donation goal in the next 30 minutes, I'll show you my taint. I like that word, taint. Taint. It's a good word. It feels, I don't want to say guttural, but it just feels good. Five, six, seven. Harpy Lady drops here. Interesting. Eight. Mortal of Thunder. That's normal. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. How do you get banned on Twitch and YouTube? What, by saying taint? That's not a bad word. Hashtag show taint. If we reach half of the dono goal, I will. <laughs> This is probably one of the streams, like, more important dono streams in recent memory. Uh, we, we are in pretty dire straits right now, chat. I will say that. We are in very dire straits at the moment. Mortal of Thunder is cool. Zombies, weak in mountain, and strong in Yami. In Duels of the, oh, in Duels of the Roses. Yeah, what about here, though? Did they change that here? I mean, that's all I, w I would really care about. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we have too many. I don't know what we have. I don't even know what to change at this point. I guess I'll start taking out. I guess we still have too many beasts. Great Moth plus Cocoon of Evolution makes Pugum in this mod. Interesting. Get the stone to go. I will put my foot through my door. 
And I'm not at my own house right now. I'm at my grandmother's. Wait, so so you mean you're gonna like kick a hole in in your grandmother's door? Is that what you're telling me? Like you're just gonna flat out kick a hole in a door? Yes. Damn. I kind of want to see that. <laughs> Damn, chat. You heard the man. Get donating. I kind of want to see that. <laughs> I want to see a man kick a kick a hole through his grandmother's door. That that sounds like it would be entertaining to watch, no? So we got Dragon Zombie and CD number two. Very good. You can confirm that Dark Magician does indeed drop from DMK. Okay. So the drop list is correct about that at least. I normally do stream later in the day. I normally do not stream this early. Like, normally I stream like six, maybe six, seven hours from now is when I normally stream. Um, however, I severely, severely need money right now. <laughs> Which is why I'm streaming so early. Like, I severely need money in the next couple of hours. Like... A quarter of the dono goal would be amazing. Half of the dono goal would be perfect. Absolutely perfect. The whole dono goal would be incomprehensible, but half of it would be absolutely perfect. A quarter of it would be fucking good, great. So, like, yeah. That's why I'm streaming so early, because I absolutely have to. I, I have to stream this early. I don't have a choice. I absolutely have to. And I cannot stop this stream until we hit that halfway point at the at, at, at least well it does I, I guess it doesn't have to be like right on the money the halfway point but you know close how many pyros do I even have for these beasts one two three four oh I guess it's even then huh I guess I'll just take that out for now Let's get the actual pyrotype out as well. Alright, so... Dragon-wise, we're doing pretty good now. Even though it, it looks like I only have two. But I actually have a bunch. One, two, three, four, um, five, six, seven, eight. So we actually have eight dragons. Who am I fighting right now? This is oh, this is shoddy, right? Yeah, okay. This is this is shoddy. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna want a BCD here because Beast Fangs probably still drops.
Yeah, I, I'm 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 also guessing that as well, Ed, that the drop rates of this is very similar to to the drop list for Mod Perfect 2016. There's definitely differences, but at least so far, it doesn't seem like there's a ton, which is a good thing. Powerification first drop. Fuck you, game. And no beast fangs. Fuck you twice, game. Actually, fuck you 15 times, game. What's up, Kaiju? How you doing? Oh boy, we're in a bit of a pickle. Pickle, I'd say. This is Bakura. Okay, so let's start off with this in Pluto. Just in case, 2k defender in Neptune. Wow. I was exactly correct. Not bad. Horn of the Unicorn works on Red Eyes and Beast Skull. I th I'm 99% sure that that's not true for the original game. So if that's what you're saying, then that's new to this mod. That's something that this mod changed. Because that's not true for the OG. Just a few added drops on the 2019 version. Okay, that's that's good to know. That's good. I mean, I mean, even if they only changed a couple drops, though, if if they changed any of the super rare drops, then that could potentially end up wasting hours of my time, like hours and hours. If they changed a single rare drop, and I decide to try to win that card. I could, I could potentially spend hours trying to farm for a card that doesn't even drop there. And that's currently my biggest fear. Double Umi, not bad. Uh, you can, Ed, but it probably won't let you post a link in chat. I'm fine with you doing it but it's probably not going to let you like nobody else is going to see it because YouTube does not let people post links in chat. Like it's not even, it's not even up to me. Like there is no setting for it in my options. I, I legitimately cannot even decide to allow people to do it. Only mod moderators and me can post them and actually have other people see it too.
No, you didn't bypass it. If you if you posted the link, none of us can see it right now. It might it might show on your end that you that you posted it, but none of us can see it. Yeah, that is definitely a large fear, Two Face. Yes, Twitch viewers can post links. That's true. That might be a good way to overcome it. Get fucked, Bakuri Box. Fucking idiot. No, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna attack somebody, it's gonna be Pegasus. Because the drop list the drop list for the 2016 version on Pegasus is incredibly overpowered. Like even more overpowered than the original game. So unless they did a complete overhaul to it, it's probably still good. Even if it even if the drop list is is equal to the original game then it's still really good. I'm gonna put this face down just in case I need to lower my rank a little bit more. Shadow Ghoul plus Labyrinth Walls, Wall Shadow, Crass, Clown, Dream Clown is Bakuri Box. That's an interesting one. Fairy Dragon plus Wing Dragon number one is Kaiser. That's also interesting. Hey, not bad. We got ourselves a dragon treasure, boys. Not bad at all. Good. Me likey, boys. Me likey. All right, all right. I'll take it, I'll take it. Yo, what's up, Wispick? Not much is popping, just existential dread. You know how it goes. Heavy anxiety, you know how it goes. Wanting to die, same as always. A little bit more than usual. Let's fucking go. All right, so we got ourselves a DT, which is nice, and a black one. Um, I honestly don't need the Umi right now. Oh, they had they didn't remove any older drops. That's very good information. Jacob, thank you. So they didn't remove any drops. They only added to the drop list, but they didn't remove from the drop list. So that if if that's true, that's very good because it means that any card that I look up it, it will be accurate. So that should mean that I can win any card that I look up and it says I can win it somewhere, I can still win it here. Except I might also be able to win extra cards. But all the cards that are on the drop list should still be there. That's... If that's true, that's good information. Like, really good information. Um, every card is obtainable, and a lot of the drop lists are changed, Wizpig. Like, a lot of the drop lists in general are are different. Like, the cards you can win against everybody's different. Um, that's really the only, the only big change, is that um, the cards that you win are completely different. 
And you can win all 722 cards. And the starting starting decks are different. And that's pretty much it. There's also a couple of fusions that have been added. Like, there's like a handful of fusions that have been added. Um, there's like a handful of changes with uh, equips. Like, some equips that didn't work on certain cards now work. So, some mild changes there as well. So, Tech MBD might not be O Pegasus. Uh, what? You were never able to win MBD on Pegasus. Yeah, really. You were never able to win MBD on Pegasus. You can win MBD against Meadow Mage. You can win MBD against Jono 2. You can win MBD against Mountain Mage. You can win MBD against Heishin 1 and Heishin 2. But that's it. Wow. Pretty bad drops for Isis. Now, Pegasus can play MBD against you. Maybe you were thinking of that. Pegasus has a small chance to play MBD against you, but you can't win it from him. All right, I should be able to beat Kaiba with this deck. I shouldn't really have much trouble doing so. Only one dragon. How many thunders do I have compared to dragons? One, two, three, four, five, six, ten dragons? Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eight. Wow, ten dragons, eight thunders. That's like perfect. That's fine, Kaiju. Don't don't feel don't feel any like pressure or, you know, sad that you're not able to donate right now. If anyone is able to donate, then it would be very, very much appreciated. Yo, LJW, just as I say that with the ten dollar dono, dude, thank you so much. God damn, you have no idea how much that $10 helps, dude. Thank you. Received from LJW1912. Feeling unwell and off work. So have a tenor, my man. Oh, damn. I hope you feel better, dude. I mean, it's always nice to have a day off of work, but it's always kind of shitty when the day off has to be, you know, while you're sick. But yeah, I hope you feel a lot better. I really, really, really appreciate the support. Like, massively appreciate the support. You have no fucking clue how much it helps when, when, when stuff like that happens. So thank you. Thank you very, 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 very much. All right, I'm going to try to A-Tech here. I'm going to attempt to A-Tech him. I'm going to need to draw an equip, though, obviously. But I'm going to do my best to A-Tech here. Damn, double blue eyes. That's bad luck. That's supremely bad luck. That's not what I want to be seeing. Super bad luck right now. Come on, play a third. Damn. And he didn't buy the fake out either. Wow. Yeah, I'm dead actually. If that's a man-eating black shark, I'm dead. If it's an aqua Medora, I survive one more turn. Okay, I survive one more turn. One card draw, dragon treasure. Boom! Alright, that would have been awesome if it happened, and you all know it. Alright, so yeah, I'm dead. 
I'm definitely dead. I am going to still try to A-Tech Kaiba in campaign, though. I'll, I'll try to A-Tech him in campaign next time. I mean, I could go back and A-Tech Peggy right now, but, um... Actually? Yeah, I, I have... Yeah, I should do that, actually. Never mind. I mean, I have ten dragons and eight thunders, so it's not like I have to... It's not like I really have to do anything, like, different. Like, I, I already have a deck that's super capable of A-Techs. So, let's just go A-Tech Peggy. Let me just quickly throw together an A-Tech deck. Um, yeah, that's pretty much one, um, seven. let's do this and then, yeah, perfect, actually, great. Perfect. Yeah, alright. Let's go ahead and do an A-Tech against Peggy here. Yeah, this will be good. The drop list for Pegasus A-Tech in this mod is even better than the drop list in Normal Forbidden Memories. So, in Normal Forbidden Memories, the Pegasus A-Tech drop list is by far the best A-Tech drop list in the game. Like, it's not even close. And in this mod... Not only did they keep all of the good drops that Pegasus had, but they added even more, such as Regeki you can win here now, Invigoration, Horn of Light, and they made Crush Card like a 40 chance instead of a 2. Like, Pegasus's ATEC drop list is fucking stupid good now. It was always really good. In the original game, it was really good. Now, it's just, like, insane, like, even better. So yeah, let's um let's just do a quick A tech and see see what we can get. Perfect. It's exactly what I wanted him to play. Good morning, reversed. What's poppin'? Take some damage here. Equip used. Uh, effective number two. <coughs> we still have to draw, <coughs> draw our fake trap and our regeki. 
Uh, but we're done with fusions. Well, actually, we have 14. So we need to do one more fusion. Whoa! What? $100 donation received from James Ferguson. For the Dono goal and your sanity. James Ferguson, you absolute fucking mad lad. Holy shit. Thank you so fucking much. Oh my god. Thank you, dude. Oh my god, you have no idea how much that helps, dude. Oh my god, thank you so much. Dude, oh my god, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, thank you so much, dude. Holy shit. You absolute fucking mad lad. James motherfucking Ferguson, dude. God damn. Thank you. Fucking God, dude, that helps so much. Thank you. I literally cannot... Th <clears throat> I cannot thank you enough for that. You have no fucking clue how much that helps right now. Like... Fucking God, thank you. <laughs> yes, dude. Oh my God. That is a very large... That is a very large weight off of my shoulders right now. It helps so much. Like, we are on our way to being where I need to be, dude. Thank you. <clears throat> God damn. Oh my god. Hell yeah, dude. James Ferguson is at the king spot, boys. The mod is actually called Perfect Mod. Mod Perfect. God damn, you absolute legend, dude. It has been a very dry stream between the la the stream I did last night and this stream. It's been so dry, I've been so anxious, and then you just come and fucking obliterate it with that, dude. Thank you. Holy shit. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Um, uh, by the way, I still haven't drawn my trap, and if I don't draw my trap, uh, soon, it's gonna be a failed ATEX, so, uh, <laughs> cool. But who even cares, dude, when you got fucking James Ferguson dropping big ones like that? God damn, dude. Yes, MVP. He is absolutely the MVP right now. Oh my god. Exodia would be an, uh, an S-Pow. Winning by Exodia, at least. I have to draw it, like, right now. I need to draw it next turn or else I'm fucked. If I don't draw a fake trap this turn, I'm screwed, by the way. Leave it to me to get so massively unlucky that... This fucking happens. Of course, dude. Of course. Of course. Yeah, I'm screwed. Yeah, this is not going to be a good uh, an attack, unfortunately. 
Yeah, fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Actually, we have a chance. If he plays Regeki, we have a chance. If he Regekis me, we have a chance. Yes, we have a chance. Hold on. Wait, we did it. I think we still did it. Fake trap activated. All I need to do is kill him this turn and we got it. And I have Regeki face down. So we're good. Holy shit, I think I saved it. I think I might have just saved it. <laughs> I just saved it, motherfucker. I just saved it. <laughs> I think I just saved it, dude. I could do that, Wizpig, yes. I actually fucking saved it. Oh my god, I saved it. Wow. I actually fucking managed to save that by baiting him into the Regeki. I got him down to a low life point, like 300 life points, so that I could potentially do that at the end, and it actually worked. That is really surprising that that worked. <laughs> Pegasus paid actor, yeah. Wow, I cannot believe that worked. Okay, anyways, we got an ATEC when we really shouldn't have. We really should not have gotten an ATEC there, but hey, I'm not complaining. Let's fucking go, boys. Galaxy brain, yeah. All right, let's see what we get. One, two, three, four. Fucking Regeki, let's go! <laughs> Regeki actually drops against Pegasus ATEC. This is fucking amazing. Regeki ATEC Pegasus. <laughs> For those of you wondering, you cannot win Regeki from Pegasus ATEC in the original game. Um, so, hell yeah. <laughs> That's exclusive to this mod. Let's go. <laughs> Will I redo the videos for Fast ATEC? Uh, no. I just made, like, I just redid the Fast ATEC guide, like, a year ago. I don't know why I would redo it again. The current ATEC guide is really good, actually. Perfect, in fact. The current ATEC guide is. Why would I, why would I redo it? All right, we got Regeki drop five. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Let's see what the other 10 drops are. Six. Crush card! Regeki crush back to back, dude. Let's go. I noticed you have a different strategy compared to the old video guide for fast attack incessants and aim for fusions, attacks. Less than a thousand life points. Less than three cards on the deck nowadays. You go for around 6,500 LP. Um, yeah. If the old video said to get less than a thousand life points, then that's not really the best strategy. It works. You can get less than a thousand life points, but that's like... There are in, there are an infinite number of ways to get ATEC, but in the newest video that I posted, those are the three best ways to get ATEC, which is why I remade the video, right? The whole reason I, I made a new ATEC guide many years after the original was to show you the updated strategies, the better strategies, right? So yeah, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't make a new ATEC video with worse strategies, right? Like, what would be the point of remaking a video with shittier information, you know what I mean? So yeah, if there's information in the new video that's different from the old video, that's the whole point. That's why I remade the video, was to give you better information. Um, but you still aim for fusions and effective attacks in the new in the, in the new methods, right? You, you, you still aim for 15 fusions and 4 effective attacks and less than 3 cards in the deck. Like, all of that is the same. 
I don't I don't remember the old guide saying that you should go under a thousand life points, but if it did, th that's not really the best strategy. Under 7,000 is. The video with the three methods is the newest video. And none of them mention going under a thousand life points. At least I don't think any of them mention that. The, the newest video has three different ATECs in it. It has the four magic ATEC. It has the four effective attack ATEC. And it has a five equip ATEC. Yeah, and every single one of those is under 7,000 life points required. The only difference is one of them requires using four magics, one of them requires doing four effective attacks, and one of them re requires using five equips. But the three methods in the newest video are by far the best and most common and easiest and fastest three methods. So yeah, I promise the new video is by far the best information. Anyways, six. Crush card Regeki back to back. Let's go. Drop seven. What do you got? All right. Drop eight. All right. Drop nine. All right. Drop ten. All right. Uh, Eleven and twelve and thirteen. Can I get an equip? Just one equip, please. One good equip. Fourteen. 15. All right, no good equips, but we got Regeki and Crush Card, which means as of right now, we have three removal cards, which is insane. We have two Regekis and a Crush. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I would have actually really liked to get a trap as well, like any trap, like fake trap, invisible wire, like anything, just so I could have e an easier time. <laughs> Another hundred dollar donation. Dollar donation received from Gold Stinger. Mayboom. What? How the fuck is there another hundred dollar dono? What the fuck? Another one. How the absolute fuck? Gold Stinger, you absolute fucking mad lad. How? How the fuck has there been $200 donations in like 10 minutes? Holy fuck, you guys are going nuts right now. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Do you like my mashing? Thank you. Oh my fucking god. You are an absolute less legend, Gold Stinger. Gold... Uh, I can't fucking believe that. So it's a tie between James Ferguson and Gold Stinger now. Holy shit. Absolute mad lads, dude. Absolute mad lads. Gold Finger. I actually cannot fucking believe that that just happened. I cannot fucking believe that that just happened. We're at almost... Almost 250. Oh my fucking god, guys. <laughs> I can't fucking believe this, dude. <laughs> That's so fucking good. That is so fucking good. That is ridiculously fucking good. Yeah, get it closer to door destruction. That's right. Uh, Two Face said that if we hit the dono goal in this stream, he will literally kick a hole into his grandmother's door if we hit the dono goal this stream. So, uh, yeah, if you want to see Two-Face kick a hole into his grandmother's door, <laughs> then uh, go ahead and donate. <laughs> what a strange thing to say. <laughs> That's just funny. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh my god, my eyes are hurting. My eyes are stinging right now. I, I apologize. I'm not crying. It's just that my eyes are like stinging right now. Gold Stinger, you absolute fucking legend. Thank you so much. You guys are like completely turning this shit around. Like James Ferguson, Gold Stinger, everybody else who's donated. You guys are like turning this whole thing fucking around. What is in my eye? Oh my god, dude. Fuck off. It's a mod that's literally called um, Mod Perfect, and it changes the drop lists. So all the cards are the same, but the drop lists are are um, are completely different. And you can obtain all 722 cards, and there's a couple new fusions as well. This mod was created with the intention of making the original game, but better, right? The creator of this mod pretty much said that they wanted to create a mod that was the original Forbidden Memories that we all know and love, but better. You can get all of 722 cards. A lot of the drop rates are more reasonable and, you know, cards drop in places that are, make more sense. A couple fusions have been added, etc, 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 etc. How would you ever get Regeki in base game? Uh, start with it. Or you can ATEX Shoddy, you can ATEX Seto 2. Seto 2 probably is the better place because Seto 2 ATEX drops Regeki, Dark Hole, and Crush Card. Dude, what the f What is going on with the hundred dollar donos? Literally what? Let's get that door kicked. Literally what is going on right now? That is three separate hundred dollar donos. Ricky J, what the fuck, dude? What is this dono what is this dono train? For some reason it's a dono train that is only hundred dollar donos. <laughs> it's like everybody's just donating a hundred dollars exactly right now. Hundred dollars, hundred dollars, hundred dollars. Literally what? Yes, pretty much Platinum Hunter. I have no idea what the fuck is happening, but this is absolutely fucking insane. Literally what? Ricky J, what the fuck, dude? Gold Stinger, what the fuck, dude? James, what the fuck, dude? What are you guys doing? <laughs> like, holy shit. This is absolutely amazing right now this is absolutely amazing we went from getting like no donos for like hours and hours and hours and then all of a sudden just all of the donos and big donos too like what the fuck the nut button is not stopped working we are nutting dude nut, nut. You're realizing how thick the door is? Well, you're just gonna have to kick real hard, Two-Face. <laughs> We're getting closer to Two-Face actually kicking the door. <laughs> if Two-Face actually has to kick that door, it's gonna be the best thing ever. <laughs> I didn't even think we would reach this much on the dono goal because of how little donos we were getting. Let alone get anywhere near Two-Face having to kick in a door. But we're actually on our way to Two-Face kicking in a door right now. What the fuck? Rip, Grandma. Yeah. Fuck you, Grandma. I cannot fucking believe this is happening right now.
unlocking all the cool shit right at the end when you're never gonna get a chance to use it. I absolutely agree, Maddie. I hate it when games do that. It's like the it's like you'll get a reward for like hundred percenting the game, and the reward you get would have made the entire game significantly more fun if you had it. But now that you have it and you've already done everything, it's like, what am I going to do with this? I've just finished everything that you do, you can do in the game. Now oh, I get you. A door kick speed run a thing. Amazing. Sword arm is an eight. Interesting, Jacob. Oh yeah, that's right. I could just use a drop editor. I didn't think about that. I could check the drops by putting the ISO in a drop editor. That's true. I totally forgot I could do that. And that way, I could I, I could at least use that to check like the super rare drops just to make 100% sure that they actually drop before I start spending hours trying to win it. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm like, okay, guys, we're going to sit down and try to farm this card that has a two chance of dropping. Let me go in the drop editor and make sure it drops here before I spend five hours trying to farm for a card that might not even drop, you know? That's, that's a good idea. That's a great idea, in fact. Also, I still haven't drawn my fake trap, I just realized. Again, I have not drawn my fake trap. Yeah, Gold Stinger. Ricky J donated another hundo. There's been three $100 donations, including yours. Absolutely fucking insane. I cannot believe that this is happening right now. I, I actually can't. There it is. Um, I did like one duel with DMK and I didn't win anything. Um, I'll probably go back to DMK at some point just for fun to try to win um, Magician of Black Chaos, but not, not right now. Yeah, there's exactly 69 right now, I notice that. <clears throat> Alright, trap activated. We're good. Alright, I think I can end it here. Yep, I can end it here. <clears throat> Do I get 100% of donos from Twitch? Um, I mean, so when you donate, you should use the donation link. And that link is the same no matter where you're coming from. YouTube, Twitch, it, it doesn't matter. You donate through PayPal regardless, so um, I get 100% of those donations. You don't even need to technically be watching the stream on YouTube or Twitch. You could just, as long as you have the link, you can donate, and I get 100% of it. Oh, oh, I see. I don't think you can donate through Twitch, though. Like, like just through Twitch. And if you super chat through YouTube, they take over 30% of it. And through Twitch, you can't right now, because I'm not an affiliate or a partner. So really, that link is the only way at the moment. There should be an ATEC. I kind of lost track of things, but it should be an ATEC. Invigoration, let's go! That's another drop that they added to Pegasus's drop list, by the way. Invigoration normally does not drop here, but they added that in as well. That's a good equip. Let's fucking go, boys. Invigoration. Nut, nut. Let's go. Nut, nut. 
My Thanksgiving was great, Dome's Day. Thank you for asking. Invigoration is an equip that powers up um, rocks, thunders, and uh, fire types, pyros. So it's one of the best equips in the game, actually. It works on Twin Headed, works on Mystical Sand, it works on Flame Cerberus. It's a very, very great equip. Four, five, six, another Invigoration. I have three of them. Let's go. I would really like to win a trap that I can actually use for a teching like a widespread or a fake trap, something like that. Megamorph 7, let's go! Let's go, dude. The pay to win. The pay to win because of the $100 donos, dude. We got $300 donos, and now we got two... Invigorations, a Megamorph. Let's go, dude. That's what I want to see, boys. That's what I want to see. And a widespread. Let's go. Not, not. Oh my god. This is a really good A tech. And another Megamorph! <laughs> two Megamorphs, two Invigoration, and an inv and a Widespread. Oh my god, this is an amazing Atex so far. Holy shit. Absolute nutty Atex. I think this is drop 10. 11, that's not bad. 12, I think. 12. 13. 14 of Regeki! That's my third Regeki, let's go! I got one of everything. Two Invigoration, two Megamorph, a Widespread Ruin, and a Regeki. Oh my fucking god, it is the A-Tech that never stops giving, dude. This is the never-ending A-Tech right here. This is the most amazing A-Tech I've, like, ever had. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, okay, that's it. I don't, I don't think that was the third invigoration. I think we looped back to drop 15. Let's check. Yeah. Oh my fucking god, look at this dude. Two Invigoration, two Megamorphs, a Widespread, a Regeki, and a DCJ. We, we actually got everything. We got the Equips, four of them, two of them being Megamorph. We got the Trap that we wanted, which will help future Atex. We got the Removal that we wanted in Regeki and DCJ. Absolutely fucking unbelievable. We really don't need to A-Tech anymore. At least not Pegasus. It is highly important for the dono goal to at least it is, it is very, very, very important that half of the dono goal is reached within the next, like, two hours. It, is, it would be very, 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 very good if it could be hit within the next two to three hours. But, but like, don't stress over trying to donate, like, quickly. Like, don't stress over it. There's other viewers who will definitely help. And, you know, I'll survive either way. Like, I'll find a way. You know what I mean? I'll find a way. So, don't stress about it if you can't donate. Don't stress about it if you can't donate until later or the next stream or ever. It's fine. It's totally fine. So, I could do five equip Atex now, 
right? One, two, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, I have si I actually, yeah, six. <laughs> Not bad. All right, I mean, yeah, let's move on. Fuck it, right? We're so strong now, it's not even funny. Look at that, perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dragons, and eight thunders it was? Yeah, ten, eight. Oh, baby, baby. All right. Uh, let's continue the campaign now. And we'll A-Tech Kaiba in campaign, by the way. We will A-Tech Kaiba in campaign now. So let's do that now. Let's fucking go, boys. We're getting the, we're getting the donations. We're getting the god luck in the game because of pay to win. I'm having a good day now. I went from feeling like an anxious piece of shit to feeling much better. Like, this is fucking amazing, boys. This is absolutely amazing. I'm so happy. Thank you. Look at this draw, dude. Look at this draw. Holy fuck. We could do five equip Atex as well. Let's fucking go, dude. I mean, honestly, Two-Face, let's be honest. We're not going to hit the donation goal this stream. Right? Like, like, are, are we getting a good amount of donations? Absolutely. But are we going to hit the giant dono goal? No. The dono goal is a very big dono goal. We're, there's no way we're hitting that. Now, I, I only really need to hit the halfway point on this stream, right? I don't need to hit the entire donation goal today, but I do need to hit at least the halfway point. So like the odds of us actually hitting the whole thing, probably zero. So I think the door is safe, honestly. I think the door is quite safe, my guy. Also, big Karyushin Pog, big Karyushin Pog. I mean, that's true, Two-Face. I have said that before, and then someone shows up and does some crazy dono, but... I mean, come on, that's that's incredibly rare for that to happen, like, let's be honest. The odds of that happening, I would say, are functionally zero. So, I, 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 I honestly don't think you're gonna have to kick anything. I wouldn't worry, my guy. Is it possible? Yeah, but so so is a meteorite, you know, falling down and killing me right now. It's possible, but not probable. I have played Falsebound Kingdom, and I actually really enjoy it, honestly. It's a really boring speedrun, but it's honestly really fun to play casually. Elden Ring, uh, probably not gonna play it or stream it, <clears throat> but who knows? I, I haven't really even seen what that is. If I'm being honest with you, I don't, I don't actually know what that is.
It's Dark Souls 4? Wait, really? Then yes, I will absolutely be playing it and streaming it. I didn't even know they I didn't even know they were making they were making an open world Dark Souls or anything any Dark Souls or even any Souls type games so yeah I will absolutely be playing it and streaming it absolutely As long as it's Souls, like a Souls-like game, then I'll, I'll be happy. Yeah, I'll absolutely be playing it and streaming it then. Alright, I should be good to end it, because we did uh, 10 fusions and 4 effectives. Which is all I need. <sighs> mm, yeah, I guess I'll go for 15 fusions. I don't need 15 fusions, but I'll wait one more turn just to be 100% sure, you know? Just in case. <sighs> Alright, that's 15 fusions and 5 equips and 4 effective attacks, which is more than I needed. Just to be positive that this will be an A-Tech. I did more than I needed to, but I'd rather do more than I need to than less. Alright. One. Two. Not bad, I actually need dragons, so nice. Well, I need thunders more, but yeah. Three, dark energy. Nice, nice. That's our seventh good equip. Let's go, let's go. For Bright Castle. Very good drop, dude. That's our eighth good equip. We have eight good equips. Drop four. Drop three dark energy. Drop four Bright Castle. Oh, you love to see it, boys. Oh, you love to see it. Oh, yeah. Me likey. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Warrior elimination. That's actually a good drop for the hundo, anyway. <clears throat> Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fake tarp. Fourteen. Horn of the unicorn. Very interesting drop. Very good drop, actually. And 15. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> what am I looking at? 
not the den one. Anything but the den one, guys. I don't want to. I don't want to go up against the den one. I'm guessing that this is a piece of Exodia, but for some reason the name glitched. I'm guessing it. It's something forbidden one. <laughs> den one. Let's go. Yeah. I won the card that is the man that hides in your den. Yeah. This is a card of the person who is currently hiding under your stairs in your basement. It's the den one, okay? Card number 92. Very good. Interesting. Yeah, I, I, I'm sw I would be sweating too if I was Kaiba. If I was Kaiba and I just had to give up the guy who lived in my den, the den one, I would be sweating. You're not supposed to talk about the den one, chat. So, can you really blame a man for sweating? Listen, you guys are scared about Den 1. Wait till you see Den 2. Like, holy shit. Now that's some scary stuff. <laughs> yeah, the reason I need the donations is to pay off the Den 1 chat. See... The guy who lives under my stairs and threatens to to murder me and my family uh, in a very quiet, whispering voice whenever it's windy and dark outside, um, he requires payment, you see. Um, so in order to keep him from coming into my home, leaving the den and coming into my house in the middle of the night, I need to pay him. Um, so that's why I, I need the donations right now. I need to pay off the den one. Um, so exclamation point donate. Um, any amount will really help. Any amount you guys can give right now would really help me pay off the den one. Okay? Like, I'm scared. I am scared for my life right now, okay? So if you guys could please, exclamation point donate. Click the link. Give whatever you can. I need to pay off the den one. I'm scared. I am, I am afraid in my own home. Okay. I am afraid of my own home. What? There is no den one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Chat, he ran. Chat, chat, he went back to the den. I'm scared. Chat, he's not in the den anymore. What's going on? He is not in the dead anymore. I am in the den anymore. I am horrified right now. I am horrified. Wait, what the fuck? The game crashed. I won a glitched card, and then the game crashed! No, why did the game have to crash? I wanted to keep it! No, I wanted to keep it so badly! Did I save? No, I didn't! I didn't save after Kaiba! I, I, I went right to Mage Soldier, I didn't think I had to save! God damn it! Fuck! Son of a bitch. I did not save after Kaiba, no. I have to redo the Kaiba duel. I did save after Pegasus and Isis, so don't worry, we still have our Megamorphs and all that. But I did not save after Kaiba, so no, we have to redo the Kaiba duel. God damn it. Broken ass mod, I am angry.
God damn it. Yeah, I know about this glitch. I know, I know this glitch. It happens, this glitch happens when, um, the total drops don't add up to 2048, and you happen to win one of the cards, or, or, you happen to win, I, I don't know how to explain it, but, uh, fuck. No, F3 won't do anything. <laughs> yeah, the X button as a Guardian Star. Beautiful. Alright, well, not a big deal, I guess. We'll just have to redo it. We're just gonna have to redo the duel. Not a big deal. It's only one duel. It was an A-Tech, which does kind of suck, but not a big deal. And it's not... I mean, we won good cards from the Kaiba A-Tech... But we it, we didn't get like anything too crazy. We got a dark energy and a bright castle. That's it, which is good. Don't get me wrong, but it's nothing. It's nothing like ultra crazy or anything. You know what I mean? So not a huge deal. God damn it, dude! That's what happens when I don't pay off the den one chat. I haven't paid off the Den one yet, and he caused that to happen. That's what happens when you don't pay off the Den one. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god, flying spikes. Holy shit, dude. $100 donation received from flying spikes. Congratulations to crashing your game. Well, I am definitely one step closer to paying off the Den 1 now, that's for sure. <laughs> Holy shit! Another hundred dollar donation! What the fuck? What is going on with this dono train? It's all hundred dollar donos! What the fuck? That is the fourth hundred dollar donation that we've gotten. That is the fourth one. That is absolutely unbelievable. Wow. Thank you so much, Flying Spikes. Holy shit. Absolute fucking legend, by the way. Let's get some hype for Flying Spikes in the chat, dude. What a fucking legend. Jesus Christ, you guys are fucking amazing, dude. I can't believe this is happening. I actually can't believe this is happening, dude. It just keeps happening. I cannot believe this. I really can't. Fucking believable, dude. Just absolutely unbelievable. What you guys are doing. And a five dollar donation from Den One. Oh no, dude. Oh no. I'm scared. I feel unsafe in my own home. Where's my money? Oh god, no, 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 no. Gimme give, give me some more time, dude. Give me more time. I'm sorry. I'm unsafe in my own home. I don't like this anymore. This isn't part of the act. There's somebody under my stairs. Please help me. No, dude, not my kneecaps, dude. No, come on, man. I'm trying, I'm trying. Give me more time, Den One. Chat is clearly trying, okay? That's four separate $100 donations, Den1, okay? That's four separate. Clearly, they are trying, okay? They're trying their best to help me help you, okay, Den1? We're, we're almost halfway there. 
I just need a little bit more time, Den One, okay? Please, please do not grab my ankles when I go down my stairs tonight, okay? Please. Stay away from my ankles. Just give me, give me a f little bit longer, please, I beg you. This is some horrifying shit right now. Oh god, no. Den one with another five. Dude, I'm scared. I'm scared. Five dollar donation received from Den one. I'm gonna take your doors under the stairs if you don't pay up. No, dude, come on. Just give me more time. I'm doing my best, man. Chat's doing their best. I'm doing my best, dude. Come on. Please don't. What does the Den one look like? Uh, I, I hear I have a picture of him. Here. This is what the Den one looks like. That's him. That's him, chat. That's the den one. Please, fucking help me. This man is under my stairs. This man is under my stairs, okay? This guy is under my stairs. His name is the den one. I have to pay him within the next hour and a half. I'm very scared. Please help me. Exclamation point, Tony. I'm scared. Where is Den 2 at? I have no idea. W listen, one in one home invader at a time, okay? One home invader at a time. I can't even begin to think about Den 2 until we finish up Den 1, okay? Jesus Christ. Yo, Jazzy Juggernaut, thanks so much for the $10.31, dude. Let's fucking go. 
Hell $10 yeah. And 31 cents donation received from Jazzy underscore juggernaut. Hell yeah, I dude. The 69. Now was this one has to fix it? Was the 69 ruined the holiday season? Oh wow, we completely skipped out. Did we completely skip over the 420 69? I feel like we just completely skipped over the 420 69 there. Room the 69, now someone has to fix it. Doing what I can during the holiday season. Yo, thank you so much, Jazzy. You're an absolute legend, dude. Thank you so much for the for the support. It really does mean a lot. Um, it, help, it helps keep the, the streams, you know, coming. It helps keep, you know, the content being made frequently. It helps keep my ankles from being grabbed uh, by, by the intruder who broke and entered in, uh, into my home. So thank you, I really do appreciate it. It means a lot in many different ways. Alright, this should be an A tech, I think, as long as I didn't fuck anything up. Cool, it worked. The only logical solution is to get the donos up to 841.38. I agree, let's do that. <laughs> let's fucking do that. Yo, Den2, Den oh god no, 569. Five dollar and sixty nine cents donation received from Den Two. Next week, I will get you next week. Oh my God, dude! Where are you even gonna hide? Under my stairs is already taken. My closets are too full for you to get in there. There is a crawl space under my house, so I mean, you could probably peek your head up in any of the vents. Oh God. Oh no. Uh, th thank you. I, um, I, I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the support. Um, Good. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm, I'm scared. Please help me. What the f fuck? Two hundred dollar donation received from flying. What? Stack. The Den Gang is behind you. Quick, throw this stack to distract them. What the fuck? Oh my fucking god. What just happened? Okay, so right off the bat, all right, I'm just going to go ahead and do this real quick. Right off the bat here. Um <clears throat>
you absolute fucking legend, Flying Spikes. What the fuck? You donated $100 earlier, and then you donate another $200. I... I might not be murdered by the home invader tonight. I may be saved. All I have to do now is go to the store, buy a live chicken, kill it, and put that under my stairs along with the money. And I might I might not be home invaded tonight. This is amazing. Literally, what the fuck is going on, though? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Yo, go Cubbies, thanks so much for the raid. You, I just got a $200 donation to help pay off the man who lives under my stairs. Unbelievable, dude. Also, I got another Den 1, and I'm just, I'm actually, I'm, I'm frightened. I'm frightened. I can't, I can't, I cannot fucking believe. What are we at? I actually don't know what we're at. Hold up. 665? Wow. We, wait, that, wait, we did it. Yeah, wait, we did it. We hit the halfway point. Boys, boys, we hit the halfway point. Holy shit, let's go. <laughs> Oh my god. That is just fucking mind-boggling. Do not make it I'm scared. I am genuinely frightened of the man who lives under my stairs. Yeah, I really need to save. Like, I really need to save right now. Yeah, I, I should I should save. Because okay, so because I won the glitched card, I should I should have a glitched card in my deck now. But the thing is because that happened, it's going to replace one card in my deck with a glitched card. So when I won that card, it removed a card from my deck. So I just lost one random card in my deck. I don't know which one it's going to be. But I gained one glitched card, so let's see what it is. It could literally have any attack value, and it could have any defense value. So if we get lucky, it could have like 5k attack or something. So let's save. No, the, the only reason the game crashed last time is because I pressed triangle on the card on accident. 
All right, let's see what it was. There it is, dude. There it is, 3840. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, if I so if I press a uh, triangle on this card, it will it will crash. If I press triangle here, we're fine. If I do it here, it's going to crash the game. That's the same stats it had last time, probably because my deck was sorted the same way that it was the last time before the Kaiba duel. The way that this works is it replaces whatever the last card in your deck is when you enter the duel, depending on how your deck is sorted, which would have been by number. So it replaced whatever would have been here. So what did I lose? I still have two Megamorphs. I still have three Invigo. I still have Dragon Treasure. Widespread Regeki, Regeki, Regeki. So what did I lose? I still have eight Thunders. Still have a ton of Dragons. So whatever I lost, it must not have been that important. If I redo 15 card to try and fix it, that won't fix this. This is this is this is a problem with the actual mod itself. It's not a problem that has to do with 15 card mod. It's a problem that has to do with the actual like mod itself. Didn't I have a fake trap? Mm, I took out the fake trap. Yeah, see, I still have two of them here. Holy shit, J Val's with the 3840. Let's fucking go. What's the significance of that? Forty cents donation received from Javels. Thirty-eight forty. Oh wait, is that? Yeah, it is thirty-eight forty. That's the defense. I was wondering what the significance of that number was. I see now, dude. Holy shit! Thank you so much. And thank you, Lucas. I really appreciate it. What happens if you draw the glitch card? It will. It, it it'll show a glitched texture but I should be able to use it. I should be able to use it. Now we've saved the game, so if it does happen to crash the game when we draw it, then whatever, but we should be able to use it. Give me one second, boys. Can you remove it from the deck, or does that crash? That's actually a good question. Uh, we saved, so... I can remove it. Oh, but that might remove it forever. I think that removes it forever, though. I think we accidentally just got rid of it. <laughs> Yeah, I actually remember now. I'm pretty sure that removes it forever. I think that gets rid of it forever. Yeah, by removing that card, you get rid of it forever. I shouldn't have done that. Oh yeah, that's right. I could just load the save. Right.
Yeah, let's just load the save. I kind of want to keep it because it's more fun that way. So yeah, if you remove the card from your deck, it's it's pretty much just like deleted. Deletus fetus. There we go. It's still there. The, yeah, I thought the name looked different, so the name keeps on changing as well. No, I can still do Hundo for this. That card won't show up in the library. That card will not show up in the library. See if glitched card fuses. It's possible, but highly unlikely. It could fuse and make some random card, but it's just highly unlikely. Sucks, sorry guys.
DA of four, so he's a district attorney. Amazing. Are there no... Well, yeah, I guess there's not any god cards. Because this mod doesn't really add cards. Well, <laughs> I guess this mod doesn't really add cards, unless, of course, you count um, DA uh, period uh, open quotations triple space of four double space uh, closing uh, bracket, of course. If you count that new card, then yeah, I guess I guess this mod does add some new cards. But, uh... <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, pause. So I, I just need a couple minutes. Sorry, guys.
Parasite Park. Sorry about that. All right, so we have the card. Now let's use the card. I wonder if you could use it in a dragon fusion since it's technically a dragon. I'm definitely gonna keep it in the deck. Oh yeah, yeah, feel free to uh, to shoot uh, with the questions, Go Cubbies. Also, yeah, that card should not show up in the library, so it should not affect the hunt the 100%. Like having that card should not change this screen at all. It shouldn't, anyways. I guess it's possible, but I don't think it will. No, see, it's not here. Now I know that it says Den One e e everywhere here. But um, that's that's normal with this mod. That's that's supposed to happen. But I, I don't think it would show up here. So yeah, I don't think it affected the the number at the top. I highly doubt it. <laughs> it's it says okay. So it says Den One um, on blank spaces, kind of just as a placeholder, a glitchy placeholder. But that's normal. That's that's what always happens with this mod, at least. Dude, I'm scared of Den One, dude. I'm I'm frightened. I'm genuinely frightened. Also, you guys are absolute fucking legends for all those donos, by the way. Like actual fucking g god given legends, okay? You guys are helping me fight back against the home intruder. Under my stairs. Thank you. Chris! You have work today. Yeah. What? Okay. Did you guys see that? The game lagged when it went to draw my hand. The game lagged, like, really hard when it went to draw my hand there. <laughs> That's kind of funny, honestly. What mod is this? Uh, mod Perfect, it's called. <laughs> this is the twenty nineteen. Not the 2016. We are over halfway there to paying off the man who lives under my stairs. I am still very frightened. I'm afraid for my safety. I am afraid in my own home. But it's okay, we can do this. I kind of want to 
I, I kind of want to keep this duel going just so I could have a chance to draw the, the glitched card. <laughs> Still nothing. It's not in the first half of my deck. I wonder if the game will crash. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. I've messed around with glitched cards before over the years. And they do work. Like, they do work in the game. So this shouldn't really... This shouldn't really fuck anything up. As long as I don't press triangle on it, of course. If I do that, then I'm really fucked. Where's Bubba? He is currently in the living room. And, um, as for where in the living room, I'm not sure. It's pr He's probably in his bed, but I'm not 100%. Yeah, I've messed around with glitch cards a lot over the years, and I've never really had a problem with crashing, unless you press triangle on it, of course. That will absolutely fuck it up. But as long as you don't do that, it should be fine. Bubba has been taken by Den1. Don't even joke about that, dude. Don't even joke about the home invader living under my stairs taking my cat. Okay? Won't happen. Can't happen. There it is, dude! Yeah! Let's see if I can equip it. Probably not, but I mean... No. Oh, dude, you gotta put it in the Dragon X button Guardian Star. You gotta put it in the Dragon X button Guardian Star chat. You absolutely have to. Oh god, he's here. Christ, dude. Jesus Christ. Den 1 mod win. Yeah, I wish it had 3840 attack. So, what tends to happen with glitch cards is... Now, this doesn't happen all the time, but usually... When you get a glitch card, it will either have a shit ton of attack or a shit ton of defense. Like, usually it'll have a really low value for one of them and a really high value for the other one. I don't know why, but that's usually how it works. We just happen to get a little unlucky here and have the defense be the, be the big one here. Dude, my home is being invaded. Like, goddamn, dude. Alright, well, we obviously have to put it in the Dragon Guardian Star.
I wonder if, if the game will crash when I attack. It shouldn't. Yeah, that's about right. All right, dude. My my uh, my home intruder attacked. No dark energy rip. 3D duel on Den 1, let's go. No, that will crash the game. <laughs> That'll definitely crash the game. Time for Den 2. We haven't even finished off paying Den 1. We need to finish paying off Den 1 before we can even consider Den 2, okay? Den 2 is still on his way to my house. He's still on his way. Wow! You guys are fucking nuts. $50 from Seamaker Zero. $50 wow. Donation received from Seamaker Zero. A little bit to help you out. Thank you so much. Holy shit. God damn. Absolute fucking legend. Dude, the Dono train's going real hard right now. I'm I'm going to be honest with you. This Dono train is like we are going, this train is like, honestly, it's going faster than my home invader runs, okay? And that is a very comforting fact. He's keeping pace, but he's not gaining on us, and that's good. Oh, actually, I want to unlock Meadow right now, actually. Because I want to try to win some MBD. Do some MBD. We do, we, we do a little MBD farming. We do a little farming. Do a little MBD farming. Went to do some stuff for a couple hours. We got 750 plus in donations, Pog. Dude, people went nuts, Donnie. People went absolutely fucking nuts. We went from, I did a three hour stream last night and got $5 total. And then for the first two hours of this stream, we got like $20 total. So like not much over time. And then all of a sudden in the past like hour, we got like 700, like shit popped off. Okay, shit really popped off. What if you get Den 3 as MBD? Den 3 is not even a twinkle in my eye right now, all right? We're still dealing with Den 1. Den 2 is on his way, but he's not here yet. Den 3 hasn't even, like, left his father's nutsack yet, okay? One home invader at a time. Oh. Spellcasters get powered down on Sogan. Interesting. The download, so the download link in that paste bin is always going to be whatever the current mod I'm playing on stream is. So right now it's the download link for this mod, the perfect mod. Um, if you want to download the legend mod, I would recommend just Googling for it. It's pretty much the first result if you just search for Forbidden Memories, um... Forbidden Memories League of Legend mod. Like, that's literally how I found it. That's how I got the mod. I just searched for Forbidden Memories uh, League of Legends mod, and it's pretty much the first link you click. Dark Magician. Nice, nice. Not bad. Lol. 
Sword sock Stalker drops here. Wait, no. Sword Stalker? So you're telling me I have a home invader in my home, hiding, and now I also have a Stalker with a sword? I don't like this, man. This is scary. I am afraid for my safety in my own home. Yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't escape, chat. I can't, yeah, it's really not my day, is it? <laughs> I can't escape. I can't escape, dude. Help. <laughs> I can't get away, dude. Help. Swordstalker's a six? Wow. So you're telling me I had to get lucky to get a stalker. Amazing. He also drops Hungry Burger and Performance of Sword. Yo. Oh yeah, that's right. Spellcasters get powered down on Sogan, which means... Oh, that's actually really bad for meadow farming, because it means that Dark Magician and Skull Knight get powered down here now. That's fucked. Oh, fuck you, game. Fuck you, game. Absolutely fuck you, game. I think it's time for Dragon Statue to take a hike. Yeah, yeah, I saw that MBD's a 21. You get that extra one chance. Let's go, boys. Yo, what's up, Coins and Cap? Welcome, welcome. Good Tassia. Is it Fiend that gets powered down and Spellcaster or just Spellcaster and you accident accidentally said Fiend? Cool. Because you keep saying that Fiend gets powered down. Oh, Fiend gets powered down on Forest. I see. Never mind. Okay, I understand now. I'm just dumb. That better be an Empress Judge. If this is a fucking Millennium Shield, then it absolutely confirms that my home will be invaded tonight. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, that's just unfortunate. Dude, I'm heavy monka essing right now.
<laughs> Good, I got a crawling dragon on BCD at least. Uh, nothing too crazy, Mini. Not yet, anyway. I got this. Super great card. Kappa. So when are we inviting Den 1 on the stream? Uh, I mean, honestly, I feel like he would be the kind of guy to invite himself whenever he wants. Um, so, honestly, I would say just, you know, keep your eyes peeled. In particular, whenever I stream at night, I'd keep your eyes peeled to the background, like down my hallway. If you get lucky, you might you might see him briefly. Oh, stuffed animal drops here. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Cool. Yeah, very cool. Yo, the great salty with the $20 dono. Let's fucking go, boys. The dono train does $20 not stop. From the great salty. I just finished watching that stream of you playing League of Legends Yu-Gi-Oh version and I had to donate this because the fact that that was funny as hell. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you actually enjoyed that stream because I feel I, I feel like that stream was just not entertaining to watch at all, but I'm glad that somebody got enjoyment out of it. <laughs> so, hey man, I really appreciate the support, Salty. God damn, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Take my nuts. I feel like there's really no need to save yet. I mean, yeah, the game could potentially crash, but I haven't really won anything good from Meadow yet, you know? Like, I've gotten some dragons and some dark magicians, but all of that is super common. I haven't gotten anything, like, actually rare and good yet. So I'm not, I'm not, like, stressing over it yet. I need more thunders, honestly. I might buy some. I don't know if the codes are the same or if the costs are the same for these lower tier monsters. Uh, but we'll check. We'll see. Why are some names green or red for cards? I think it has to do with rarity. But I'm honestly not entirely sure, May. That would be my guess, that it has to do with rarity. Could absolutely be wrong, but that would be my guess. Oh, the codes of the cards like ID? Oh, that's annoying. That's really annoying, because that means that I can't use... I can't use my list. I swear to God, if he played two of them, I'm gonna be mad. I have no idea, Zygma. There's there's other mods that work like that. I don't know if this is one of them. I don't think this is this is a mod that works like that. That was a different mod. But I mean, it's possible. Who knows? God, 
God, I still can't believe how fucking insane you guys have been with donos today. Like, honest to God. I was so anxious, and you guys just absolutely f fucking destroyed it. You guys killed it. Rabbit Horseman drops here. That's interesting. Alright, let me see if, uh, if I can buy some Thunders, potentially. Well, first, let me make sure I don't have any triples. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to hit build deck. Because if I have any triples, I obviously don't want to buy them again, you know. So don't buy Bolt Penguin. That's really it. Don't buy Bolt Penguin. Don't buy Bolt Penguin. Let me make sure I have all my thunders in. Yeah, I do. Okay. Alright, so don't buy Bolt Penguin. Thanks. That will actually help quite a bit. Because now I have double digit thunders, which is good. Is Blue Eyes White Dragon still max star chips? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they they changed the costs of most of the cards of the big cards, and I'm pretty sure most of uh, I'm pretty sure you could buy all of the cards now. I think I I because I I remember seeing cards like I think Blue Eyes Ultimate was like fifty thousand. I think. I think I saw, like, Pogum for, like, 10,000 or something like that. Oh, I just won Empress Judge there. That's interesting. Empress Judge normally doesn't drop here either. That's cool. Is it possible to get max star chips in this mod? Um, well, no. I mean, technically, yeah, but... I mean, this mod doesn't change how fast you get star chips. So, there's no difference between the original game and this game when it comes to how many star chips you get. Like, that's... that's the same. So... the answer is exactly the same answer as it is in the original game. It's technically possible, but it will never happen legitimately. Yo, holy shit. Pizza Boy Liam with the 
fifty dollar donation. Fifty dollar donation. It doesn't stop. Well, that was unexpected. Yeah, just a bit unexpected. Holy shit! Pizza Boy Liam, the absolute fucking mad lad, with a fifty. Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. Yo, pay to win MBD? Pay to win MBD? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It worked! <laughs> pay to win MBD! Let's go! Thank you, Pizza Boy Liam, for the $50 donation and for the Meteor B Dragon. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Pay to win MBD, boys. Pay to win. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Pay to win MBD. You gotta love it, boys. You gotta love it. <laughs> unbelievable. Actually unbelievable. I'm telling you, chat. The pay to win works. Earlier in this stream... Somebody donated right when I said I wanted to win dragons, and their donation message was something along the lines of, I'm, you know, this is, this is so you can win some dragons. And I won two crawling dragon number twos, this is from Rex, two crawling dragon number twos, a wicked dragon, and a sword arm of dragon, which I didn't even know he dropped, all in the same duel. And now we get a $50 donation right before I end a meadow duel and I get my first MBD. Easy, dude. Eaten. Beautiful. Chef's kiss indeed. God damn. Y'all fucking nutty. Ooh, mama. Mm mm mm. Bless you twice. Oh, I like that. Oh, I should have saved, but that's okay. Hey, chat, if I hit the triangle button right now, I lose that MBD. Wouldn't that suck? Ha 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 he hoo ha 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 But look, I didn't do it. Amazing, huh? Dude, we got the good luck. Let's go. The pay to win luck. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Hey! Nice, dude. Gotta love that. <laughs> if I hit triangle on it here, I'm pretty sure it'll also crash. Maybe not, but it's possible. Come on, be an Empress Judge this time. No shield. Give me the Empress Judge. No shield. Empress Judge. Yeah! Empress Judge. Let's go. Maybe the pay to win. Maybe a $50 donation was, you know, enough money to get me two MBDs. Maybe. I'm not sure. We might need more in order to get another MBD, but maybe it was enough to get two. Let's see. One, two. Kaminari is really good, actually. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. I still haven't saved. God damn it, I need to save. I really have to save.
I'm gonna feel really bad if he plays a shield. If he plays a shield immediately after I wasted my Megamorph on a Metal Dragon, I'm going to be a sad boy. Oh yeah, he didn't. Let's go. And I drew Regeki anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I have three Regekis, so I think we'll be okay. Oh, whoops. Oh well. Alright, I will save, I will save. One, two, three, save, four, save, five, save, six, save, seven, save, eight. Ooh, Skull Knight save, very good save. Skull save, Knight save, good. Eight, I think. Nine, ten save, eleven save, twelve save, thirteen save, fourteen save, fifteen save, I think. Save. Saves the save, save, saves. This is the saves, the saves. That's actually a good point, Steve. I'm not sure. We'll have to try that. I mean, if if I happen to draw the glitch card and Megamorph, then I'll definitely try it. The glitch card wasn't supposed to be any card. It it showed up on the you win screen as den one like a glitched name so it was always meant to be glitched oh wodan the resident of the forest drops here as well that's really interesting no it's not crashing the game at all I'm just saving after I win MBDs, that's all. Just, like, just in case. Even even in normal Forbidden Memories, I like to save after I get a really good drop. You know, just in case some weird crash happens. It's unlikely, but it's always possible. One second, I gotta order Bubba some food. He's running... Well, he's not running low on food. He has no more. I really gotta get him some. I ran out this morning, actually. Yeah, the card IDs that show on the you win screen are pretty much completely broken. Like, the card IDs that show up here are broken. But the card IDs of these cards are completely different in, like, the build deck screen. It, they're just messed up here for some reason. I don't even know how the fuck that happens. <laughs> to be honest with you.
What a world we live in where you can DoorDash for your cat. I know, right? Fucking beautiful world we live in. Yeah. Um, DoorDash added a lot of, like, convenience stores in my area. And one of the stores that they added was, um, they added some grocery stores too. But they also added a PetSmart, which is really nice because the closest PetSmart to my house is, like, a 20-minute drive. So it's super nice to have PetSmart on DoorDash. Because it means I, you know, I could drive like five minutes to a grocery store near me and, and get him cat food. But the selection that PetSmart has is obviously way better. So it's really nice that I don't have to drive all the way down there to get a good selection. I could just door dash it. Let me see what else he needs. Um, I think he's pretty much good, unless I see anything else that catches my eye here. I feel like there's a lot of flavors that they haven't had in stock for a while. Yeah, they used to have a lot more selection. Yeah, this PetSmart must, like... Either they changed their stock, or they've just been out of stock of stuff for a while. Because their selection is not that good anymore. It's still better than driving there, though. Alright, that should be good. Let me get this ordered now. You just got a Magician of Black Chaos from Duel Master K? Holy shit. That's so incredibly rare. That's a two. Like, that's dummy rare, my guy. There we go. All done. All right. Let's see what we got here. Jesus Christ. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Another Kaminari attack. Very good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. Kaminari is good. Kaminari is always a good thing. I can never say no to a Kaminari attack. a draw and a half, huh?
Oh shit. Say no to Den 1? You can't say no to Den 1. That's kind of the point of a home invader. Oh, hi, Bubba. There's a Bubba afoot. Whatever that means. Hi, buddy. I know you're probably kind of hungry. Unfortunately, I have not much for you. I can give you more chicken. What? What? I know. You have food on the way. Don't worry, buddy. Also, it's really nice having multiple frikekis. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I should probably get going, honestly. Because here's the thing. I I started streaming last night at like 2 a.m. I streamed for a couple of hours. Then I took a break. I managed to sleep for like an hour and a half. And then I woke up and started this stream, which is another four and a half hours. So I've barely slept because of all the streaming. So I think it might be a good time to call it a day. The good thing is that we discovered this mod. We dis like we discovered this fucking mod chat. We discovered this mod and it is one of the most fun mods I've played in a very long time. This mod is fucking amazing. The mod is not- oh, yes, the mod isn't- this mod is in the paste bin. The exclamation point mod command will give you a link uh, to download this mod, yes. Oh my god, Den1 is in the chat. I'm scared, dude. I'm scared. I think that this was an amazing stream. This was some fucking entertaining stuff. A lot of fun. And now that- now that we have discovered this mod, I have something really fun to play. So the next time I stream chat, the next stream you see, which, by the way, the next stream is going to be tomorrow. I will be streaming tomorrow, and it will be more mod perfect. I promise it'll be more of this. I'm going to go spend some time with Bubba and try to get some sleep myself. So thank you guys for watching. I will be back tomorrow with more mod perfect. This mod is so much fun. I'm I'm so genuinely happy that that I found this mod. Like I'm really happy I found this mod because now I have something to do that I'm really excited to do. So Thank you guys for all of the insane donations. You guys are fucking nuts today. All the donos, all the fun memes, with Den 1 and shit, and a really fun run, really fun mod. I hear you, Bubba. I'm coming. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Uh, have a good night, good day, whatever. Bye-bye, everybody.